Hello, 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 hello. Welcome out to episode 14 of God Forged. Uh, this should be quite a fun one. I'm quite excited for this one today. I'm going to go ahead and bring everyone up one second. All right, guys, we're ready to start. I'll bring you oh all in. Oh, my God, the bunny gifts. <laughs> Super cute. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Right, I'll move on to the main Hello. screen. How's it going? Oh, good. 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 Super. Very good. Um, how's everyone been then? Have you been up to anything this week? Has anyone done anything special? I'm really trying to ask. Um, no. No. Do we ever do special things? No, I don't know why. Else. Be on Sunday? Did you? Yeah. Did you do anything special? No. That's chat. Right there, I mean, chat. Wonderful. Did you do special things? Yeah. Yeah, chat. Tell us. Help us out. <laughs> we're all we'll your ideas. <laughs> you can write things in chat, and then we'll pretend <laughs> that that's what that we it was. Us. That's, yeah. that's great. <laughs> Live my life oh, via proxy of chat. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I'm watching this show. Yeah, I got rejected by a girl I like. <laughs> Talk. <Ooh. laughs> oh, no. oh. That's sad. Um, well, if anyone wants to shout anything before we begin, otherwise we can kick start into episode 14. I'm ready. All good? I'm oh, ready. ready. Well, welcome um, out, everybody. What's we up gotta, with... we got to give Shane a rundown. Oh, yes. yeah. Please, because please, please, please. all so he good. knows is we're about to kill a bridge, you, and so that for, doesn't make any goddamn for change, sense for him. <laughs> does anyone else want to do a recap? And then I can loop it into mine. No, mm -hmm. this is like getting asked if anyone wants to come to the front of the class. <laughs> no one, like, <laughs> no one likes to do recaps. Joe, oh, uh, I think in every game I've ever been in with you, when you are a player, you're always the person everyone makes. I know. I know. Yeah. I hate oh my it. God, no, that was <laughs> true. Last year, I did. Last game, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're the scenario. You're the DM, and I know you've written a recap. So why am I going to volunteer myself? Hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe, you, maybe you say it better than I did. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, I, I didn't write this. Joe DM you his recap. Just read this. Yeah, read this. <laughs> yeah, but can we get the recap in the voice of one of our favorite NPCs? <laughs> yes, please. I, I I would usually do it if we we're in a town, but there's no NPCs around. You've just got a bridge. Yeah, just do it in the bridge's voice. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's it. funny. You from the bridge's it. point of view, the recap's kind of lame. It's like. Idiots came to me. <laughs> yeah. I got stepped on today. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> All right, I'll do I'll do my totally not written recap. Um so actually let me just move on to the uh for music for you guys and we'll do it for that. Oh yeah, I um, should get into roll twenty. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. Haha. <laughs> um okay, let me put on ba 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 let's put this one music on. So, my thing's not open. There it is. Okay. So, last week on God Forge, you each said your goodbyes around carbon. You gathered bottles from the Brewing Guild, two full ones and one nearly empty one, sold fish at the market, got quick shoddy armor for Blissom, the, uh, Blossom, sorry, the Griffith, got your charm <laughs> and earrings from Dolph also, and then said goodbye to Affy. You met up with the Baron and journeyed out of Carburn toward Albridge to attend the vouching, an old ceremony of the Kessex people to choose their new leader. Accompanying the Baron were a few of his soldiers and mercenaries known as the Cobblers. After a day and a half on the road, you set out in the morning to follow Fabia's path, with the intention of discovering Ramir, the slaver bandit you've been hunting for quite a long while now, hiding in his hill fort. Not a shed. Before getting <laughs> there, you came across a small stream with a broken bridge along the path and a pristine one about 30 to 40 feet to one side. After Skold began to cross it, his feet began to glue to the surface of it, and when he looked down, teeth rose from up under him. And that is where we started with a mimic ridge. Um, all right, let me move on to the actual battle map, and we'll get started. Sorry if the cams are a little juddery. For some reason, my cams are a little juddery on Discord, but I don't know why. Um, okay. So, I'll put on more fitting music. And then, if everyone could do me a grand favor, when I click this button, is could everyone please roll initiative? 
Yes. Put your token on the map first. Though, oh, yes. Right? Yeah. If you could put yes. your tokens on the map. Um, to remember where everyone was. I uh, was on the other side. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. I have no token. No. <laughs> you're, Emma, you're the MSN man now. <laughs> you're like Hello, really I well am. hidden, Bobby. Yeah. You have two abilities to nudge and uh, to drop an emoji. Nudge. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Throwback. Uh, Oops, Fias, come on, slaps. girl. Yo! This song does slap. Ooh, nice initiative. Yeah, I'm really mad that I used that just early. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wasted the 20. I'm working on it. Mm. I feel like I'm in, like, oof, Pokemon. I don't know. Right? I did yeah. it again, dun, dun, dun. The tune from Divinity One. It's so good. I thought it's we already, really good. It's, it's very song, few yeah. fights that this song really fits to, and I was like, ah, mimics kind of one of the few. mimic bridge. Perfect. Yep. Okay. So, uh, I need to actually roll for the, the mimic itself. But okay. Nice. Um, we'll put it into descending order, and there we go. So. Because it gets a sur surprise round first. Beneath <laughs> your feet, Scald, you mm -hmm. would get the great big teeth of the greater mimic trying to bite you. Does a 14 hit? Nope. Okay. Uh, and then it can make one more attack and it's going to do it against you with the pseudopod. <clears throat> you see this great big kind of like almost just stretchy arm with like a ball at the end just shoot up and whack against your side there's a 26 hit oh. yes it does indeed okay holy fuck that's a big one <laughs> okay uh i don't know why the music stops at the end it's got like a five second ending um that'll be 10 points of bludgeoning damage and you are trapped in this kind of adhesive it's, when it slams against you you just feel it kind of and attached to you, almost like super glue, just gripping onto your side. Right. Now we can begin combat with Fabi at the top. Um. Man. Well, <laughs> I guess I'll. Well, can I do a check on it? Yeah, absolutely. What would you like to check? I want to figure out whether, like, a physical attack will actually work since it's stone. Yeah, okay. Um, I'd say roll an arcana check, as it's a magical being. Okay. Oops, sorry. That's okay, we can take the first roll. 15. Yeah. Um, you could probably deduce that it's it's the, the kind of stone is not necessarily its actual form. When you look at it, you can see that where its actual real form, where the pseudopop comes out, it's kind mm. of molded together. It gets this almost shifting kind of, almost like scales of a chameleon shifting into that. So you can okay. probably deduce that it's not really uh, built of stone. Okay. I'm going to try to, yeah, I guess use my short bow and aim for a fleshy bit. Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh, oh, holy wow. shit. And that's ready to start the day. Wow. Two nat 20s, that was it. Yeah, yeah, my initiative was a nat too. Oh, was God it? Damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's mad. Okay. Nice. <laughs> uh, how much damage <laughs> did you do? 12, it looks like. Very nice. 12 piercing damage. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, as you shoot the arrow, you just hear this thunk, and you just see almost this kind of light purplish blood just bleed out from where the arrowhead goes in. And you know you've struck true from that. Um, it pierces mm. all the way through one of the bottom parts of the uh, the pseudopod that's coming out. All right. Anything else you'd like to do in your cool. turn? Um, I'm trying to remember if uh, rogues have anything bonus action. Um, <laughs> you have, you have. Oh, I've got cunning action, mm -hmm. but I don't think I'll. Yeah, I think I'm good. I think that's the end of my turn. All righty. Up next is the actual bridge mimic itself. It's going to shoot a pseudopod to <clears throat> you, Fear. To 
try and grapple okay. you. 27 to hit. Well, sadly, that does in fact hit. <laughs> yep. You take 12 points of bludgeoning damage as this just great kind of long rope with a thick end just whacks against you. And you hear this as it grapples onto your chest and yanks you towards it. Um, mm. You are pulled on top of it there. You can I share the same space as this creature. Is. Yeah, yeah, it's not nice. Yeah, a little unfair, <laughs> you. as I haven't actually done anything to it, but was just walking calmly along the river stream bank. So I'd just like to register my displeasure with that. <laughs> I feel I like I look really unthreatening, and I'm a little annoyed. So just well, throwing that out there. It's not over yet, because <laughs> Great, it takes a cool. bite to everyone that's grappled. You feel where you get pulled to, and you get slammed against kind of the... You do, what you'd expect to be hitting against stone, you're actually kind of hitting against this almost rubbery-like surface. Gross. Okay. Teeth appear cool. next to you, and both a bite attack towards Skull to begin with. 14 again. That doesn't hit, does it? And then nope. a bite attack against you, Fear. That's a nat 20. Oof. For 28. Uh, that's... For the bite, it's 13 plus 6 piercing damage. It's 19 piercing damage. And then you take oh. 14 plus 4 acid damage, so another 18 acid damage on top as these nasty teeth just shoot out and bite straight into, like, around your entire waist. You just have teeth dig into you, and you can feel this acid just pour into the wounds that it leaves, burning away on the edge. 19 and then what? Sorry. Uh, I was clicking. 19 <laughs> piercing damage and then 18 acid damage. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's not okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You hear okay. Fia go, what the f... And that's it. <laughs> she's... she's is, is Fia oh. bitten in half? <laughs> she's she's No, no, she's not in out. half. She'd be unconscious in its mouth almost. In one of the mouths oh, that come man. Up. Okay. Jesus. Wait, that was an instant knockout? I mean, yeah. in, a, in a turn, it, it did, did like, well. I just took a shit damage. ton of damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wrote an, sorry. I wrote a nat 20 yeah. on, the, on the bite. Um, That's insane. And I rolled... So many nat 20s, dude. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I know, scary. holy shit. Timothy. Well, I'm definitely going to start my turn seeing that Fia just got chomped and throw a healing word as quick as I can out towards her. Okay. Go for it. Thanks. For 10 healing. Okay. So at least there's that. And healing word is bonus action, yes, so I can use an action cantrip. I'm going to also sacred flame this bridge. Okay. Uh, what do I have to roll? A dex check? A dex 37 30? Let me check. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, it is 17. Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure it's like a 15 you have to beat. Yeah, it's a 15, so nothing happens. It's not even half damage. Okay. Uh, so, Fear, you are back on your, your feet again as this kind of healing just radiates across you. Alrighty. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Tim? All right. I'm good. Safira. <clears throat> Safira is going to go straight into rage um, and attack with a reckless attack straight onto the bridge. Okay. Move straight over um, onto wherever the, uh, the fleshy chameleon area is. That's where she's going to be attempting to target. So... You're stepping onto the bridge, yeah? Yeah. As you step onto it, your feet get oh. kind of hooked onto it. You are glued to it, but you can attack. Okay. Ooh. What did you roll to hit? 25. That hits, yeah. Hmm. Click on it, that'll be good. Okay, so sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, gone onto the attack, so I'm just trying to remember everything okay. I have to do. Okay, so um, the first attack is uh, six plus two, and then with uh, t -t Divine Fury, that's 1d6. Did you rage? You raged, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh my god, Nat 1. <laughs> that's right, damage is damage. Plus, damage is damage. Uh, what level are we now? We are level four. Five. Four? Four? Five. 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 So that's um, plus three, right? Or is it rounded up or down? No, Round plus it down. Two. Yeah, okay. So that's plus three there. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve damage with the first hit. Okay. 
And for the second one... You see your axe just go straight into the fish. You hear this kind of sinking feeling as it's almost like cutting into jelly, uh, but like very thick, like cream jelly. And it bleeds out as you pull out. Ooh, I don't think her second attack hits, unfortunately. It's a 10. It doesn't hit. You yeah. swing down. You just feel it kind of hard and just as your kind of uh, axe comes in there and pierces against it, but um, it doesn't break through. Okay. All right. And uh, I reckless attacked on that one, so um, you do get bonus against me now. Okay. Basil. Okay. Um, I'm going to shatter from originating maybe like over here. So yep. it just hits the bridge. Um, so that is a con save. And is this creature made of inorganic material? It's not. Damn it. It is organic. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, but only very well an eight on the constitution save. Okay. Perfect. Aww. Uh, let's see the damage. 15 damage. 15 damage. Is it? That's thunder damage, isn't it? Very nice. Very yes. nice. Okay. Yeah, you just see rippling across it bits of its flesh kind of peeling off some of the bits which have been turned into stone start to form to show its original kind of purplish coloration all right scold uh scold is gonna say hulk and then he's just gonna lift up his maw and just start smashing the bridge that is holding him how, how does that work do i need to roll a flex if i want to like break out of his grip yes so uh whilst you're in the decent form uh, a huge or smaller creature adhered to the mimics uh, is also grappled, and the escape you have to roll a uh, a strength escape. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Escape. I got no. I got no interest in escape, and I'm just gonna hit it twice. That's fair enough. Uh, you will have also disadvantage when you're trying to escape as well. So it's once you're stuck there, it's kind of hard to get away. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. For eleven. Okay, 11 bludgeoning damage. 17. 17 hits. For 14. Nice. 14, very nice. Nice, nice, All nice. right, yeah, you guys have already hacked into a bit of it. You see, it's just, just kind of slamming against it. You get this kind of rippling wave effect as it kind of ripples across the entire mimic, and you just hear it shuddering beneath you. Um, all right. Fear. You're on your feet. You're hurt. I'm grappled, right? Indeed. Or no. Okay. Yeah. Anyone that's on top of it is grappled. Okay. Um... All right. I don't think I'm going to try to get out of it since I have a minus one to strength. So probably won't make that. Uh, so instead, I am going to just be super duper annoyed. And uh, I am going to burning hands it so that it... <laughs> But kind of this way, so that it just hits the side and not scold and severe. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. like straight, you know, like straight. You're up. kind of against its saying. side right now. Like, um, when you got pulled, you well, got pulled into Well, I will set that side on fire because okay. now I'm mad. <laughs> okay, go for so, it. So it's a dex check, right? That, uh, yes. Hold on, let me find it. Ch -ch -ch. Uh, it's only seven. I think it's dex. Usually they're dex. I think so it is. Sorry. If it is dex, I rolled yeah, a 15. Okay, well, uh, that's too bad because my spell save DC is 16. Oh, Woo. so I take the full seven. All right, you get You're going to take a whopping seven points of fire Whap damage. Whopping. <laughs> Expender. Whopping. <laughs> Look, she's grappled. She's hurt. She you just see. sort of kind of went like that and shot fire. She, she it ripples nothing. against it. Damage is damage. You see it rippling against the kind of side of the uh, the mimic and just melts a little bit, dripping into the water beneath it. Um, All right. And the mimic doesn't really make any sounds as it does it. Some bullshit. And then that's the end of my turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the round, Fabia. Um, I'll do the same again. Go for it. Short bow again. People are next to it, so you would get sneak attack as well, by the way. They're engaged with it. Oh, right. Okay. Um, Sure. Can I sneak attack from here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Get him. So do I just... I add the sneak attack damage to the normal damage? Uh, I think you have to hit it first, and then yeah, and then you can add your sneak attack damage. I believe that is how it works. Okay. 
15? 15 doesn't hit. Shit. You swing Fred. down and it just, it manages to almost, like you see one of its eyes just go and then looks directly at you. And just as you swing and it connects against it, you see that bit of it just harden up and clink off against your sword. Okay. The, the second, like I hit it and I notice the eye and I hide. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, do I roll stealth? Uh, does it say to? I think as your bonus action, you can you can take disengage, uh, the hide action, or the other one. I, uh, you can stealth. You can stealth, action. stealth. Stealth it. Yep. Yeah, stealth check and an attempt to hide following it's rules called, for hiding. It's called hide, oh, yeah. There you go, yeah. That's the first time anyone's ever done the hide action in any campaign. 26. Again, genuinely. Sure. At least here. And <laughs> just in the midst of it, after clicking off it, you absolutely just disappear for it. It's eye. Oh, you see it kind of move it around the bridge looking like, for you, but it can't see mm. And then okay, it reverts great. back to looking at the others. Uh, on the actual bridge's turn, it's going to shoot its pseudopod to Basil to try oh, and good. cause Basil to <laughs> come attached to it. Okay. So 27 to hit. I know, I know. I'm already attached to someone. So uh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he's taken. <laughs> well, what was the... Uh... It was a 27 to hit. I've been yeah, rolling exceptionally hits. well on the uh, pseudopods. <laughs> uh, you take 13 points of bludgeoning damage and okay. you're pulled onto the bridge. You see, just it comes over and grabs okay. you and just pulls you straight onto it. Your whole body, just your feet locking in where the uh, the, the big pseudopods attach to you. Great. Um, okay. Then it's going to take a bite attack against everyone who's uh, grappled it. Let's start with Basil. Oh, Jesus. 24 to hit. Yep. That'll do. Uh, you take 14 points of piercing damage, uh, followed by an eight points of acid, as you just feel the teeth go and bite against you, tearing a bit away uh, a bit of flesh. Okay. Uh, Basil. Uh, sorry. Uh, fear. Yeah. Hello. It's me. I'm, I'm screenshot on this because I feel really bad, but um, it's a nat <gasps> 20 again. Joseph Fudge. It's a nat 20 again. <laughs> So I what can't, so wait, the reason I did it last time, I can't, can I use, sh like, shield on a nat 20 or no? Because I didn't, because no. I thought I couldn't. You, you can't, it, even right? if it you, Even if you, it's a, it's a 28 to hit. Okay. So. That does. Okay, well. Uh, 19 just... points of piercing damage again, followed it by an additional 19 acid. Be, be okay, sure to record well. the over damage, because uh, you die if it does your max health afterwards. It's oh going to take the bite action against Scold. Oh. A 10 to hit. <laughs> How is the biggest Missed. target? <laughs> it just can't bite into you. You just see it getting like bits of your fur and it pulling out, <laughs> spin out again. Because he goes to bite me and I just put my hand in his yeah. face <laughs> and push it. <laughs> um, and then, oh my God. Against Sephira, another nat 20. I'm uh, shitting you uh, not. I, I will, uh, I'll turn on the rolls for this thing because I'm... I'm <laughs> What the this fuck, dude? All right. I'm gonna throw hit, up. Give me with your best shot. I got a lot of HP to be burned through, and you hit me for half, so. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. It does 22 oh, points of piercing damage, reverted down to 11. 11? Mm hmm. And then 19 points of acid, which is not halved. Mm. As you see these teeth okay. just mm. shoot up and bite straight into your belly and just tear into it deep, and you feel the acid just go. <laughs> Down the teeth so and into you. 19 plus 11, yeah? Yep. Okay, that's 30. 30 points. Yes. Wow, this is almost half my HP. It's impressive not... bridge. <laughs> I'm stressed out. Um, <laughs> this is an impressive bridge, guys. I'm that's stressed all can out. Do. <laughs> Timothy. Same. Uh, I'm gonna, for the first time, use my new group heal, I guess. <laughs> Yay! So everyone's taking a beating, huh? Yeah. Um, twelve healing for everybody. Yay! Very nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Very nice. Fear for the second time. You'd wake up. Jesus H. Wounds all across you. These bite wounds. Fuck me. So stressful. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll sacred flame again since that heal was a bonus action. All right. Deck save. I rolled an eight. Okay, finally. Where is it? 10 damage. 10 points of damage. With the 10 points of damage, 
it is going to perform this move. I don't know if this will post into the chat for you guys. Um, yes. I need everyone who is not attached. So, Timothy and Fabio? I'm going to say, Fabio, you roll with advantage because you're stealth check. It doesn't, it's, it's okay. shooting them out in all directions. You see his body right, just so like rumbles from the wounds. And okay. it's just, you just see like 20 pseudopods just shoot out in all directions. Because you're within range, I'm going to say, yeah, you get advantage. Um, okay. What but, are we rolling? Uh, a deck a deck save, save And same Not for you as well, through. Timothy. 27. <laughs> Two. Timothy, you. Oh my god, guys. You take. Uh, do, 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 do. 1d8 plus 1. You take 8 points of bludgeoning damage. And you're pulled onto the bridge. For you, Faber, you see these pseudopods shoot around. You just manage to weave around them. Um, see your fear is turn. Um, yes, Sephira's going to do exactly the same as well. Um, reckless attack as well. Okay. 24. Hell yeah. 24 hits. Get him. Oh, yeah. 17. Okay, so um, the first damage what? is 17 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. Six, uh, eight, 25. 25, yeah. Very nice. Eight, tell ya. Quick First nice. hit, 25. Yeah, you just Quick this nice. time, after being bitten, <laughs> your axe just sinks super oh, deep pissed. into it. You get she's only pissed. a couple of inches your axe is still remaining out of the flesh. By the time you pull it out, it's covered in this kind of purple ooze. And you hear for the first time the mirror go, <laughs> as it uh, takes a lot of damage from you. Okay. I was just going to go in with a, with another um, yes. attempted hit. Get on. 26. Yeah. 26 yes. Hell yes. <gasps> All right, here we go. That is nice. sixteen plus two plus three plus two. Twenty-three, right? Twenty-one. 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 <laughs> did you get the plus two? Did you? Did you get the oh, plus two for the? Oh yeah, twenty-three. Twenty-three, 23 bitch. Right. 23, All right. Bitch. Twenty-five plus twenty-three. Yeah, the second axe <laughs> going straight in. This time, your axe uh. disappears into the flesh, and then once again, you hear the. <laughs> as it just kind of just shakes beneath your axe. You can see the bridge is kind of rumbling um, as you pull your axe out again. You've done some nasty damage in that turn alone. So I would, um, would roar at it in absolute fury. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, turn over. Basil. Uh, seeing how much this guy hurts us, uh, yeah, I'm just going to shatter again, avoiding oh. friends. I did add my Zealot ability twice. Sorry, pardon me. You're right, I oh, did, did Captain Killsteel. Sorry, yes, I did. Pardon me. Yes. Oh, yeah, because so, you had it on the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus, minus three. Give him three health back. Thank sorry. you. Sorry. No, five <laughs> health back. Five health back. Jesus. Sorry, you're right. That's fine. I did. Sneaky, sneaky cheater Appreci me. Thank no, you, I appreciate it. Appreciate you letting me, me right. know. <laughs> appreciate letting me know. Um, Thank you for keeping me right, guys. Basil. Yeah, Shatter. Yes, please. Avoiding my teammates. Con uh, save. Con save, yes. 20. Fuck you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, here we go. Well, I'm just you happy to get one. On save. Yeah. And he succeeded, so fuck him. <laughs> right, six points. Damn. Yikes. If you'd have said, like, fail your con save, I can understand <laughs> him defying you. But Listen, you asked for a con save. This grid could it. literally kill one of us. Like, we are, some of us are squishy. We're okay? fine, dude. Run. We're not fine. I think Fia's hurting, dude. I'm a little nervous for Fia. You would see his rippling of head goes across it. Bits of the bridge are kind of falling into the water now. It's almost just pieces of its flesh, but they almost become liquid after they fall off of it. And you see it rushing mm. down the river. On the other side of the river, beneath the bridge, you can see it's starting to turn kind of pinkish color. Uh, anything else you'd like to do? Um, 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 I give a bardic inspiration to Fia. Mm -hmm. Uh... Get this son of a bridge. That's it. <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I so. love it. Scold. Uh, Scold hasn't been attacked since. So he's just going to keep hitting. Lucky. Yep. Until it let go. 16. 16. Exactly what you needed. So uh, you hit. And an 18. Holy shit. 
Holy oh, fuck me! Well. Five damage total. Twenty-five. <laughs> That's exactly how much you needed to kill it. So do you want to describe <laughs> how you do it? Amazing. A call, a skull, this thing's grabbing onto him and he just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting until he doesn't feel the grip of the bridge anymore. <laughs> so and he looks up from his kind of like, he was in his own world and he just kind of looks up surprised. Yeah, yeah. You'd see after the first hammer into it, all of the other pseudopods just pull back and it tries to harden like all of the other bits of the flesh. Now everyone else is stood and you feel it kind of wobbling beneath your feet. It tries to harden up just directly where you're about to hit the second one and you just feel it shatter beneath you and the whole bridge just collapses. The blood of it Do just I falls fall into, into the, the river. Ground. You'll, I mean, you'd fall, but you'd remain your feet there, yeah. And essentially the river at this point is like liquefied jelly as it just washes down, um, mm, passing down the river, um, all beneath your feet. But you successfully kill the bridge mimic. <laughs> Fabia, Fabia, like surfaces from the water, like <gasps> and like, <"Ugh>! oh, <laughs> nasty! <laughs> oh God! Ah, oh. you're okay. kind of stood in this, yeah, just in the kind of the remains of this this uh, river. You'd see it's just the the mimic and uh, the water just mold together. The bits of eyes and and the tongue just washing down. Ooh, Fia kicks an eye as it goes by. <laughs> okay, yeah, you see it just, just fall off deeper into the river and kind of rush down the stream. Yeah. Are you okay? Not, no. <laughs> really, everything, it's, it's, yeah, no, I'm fine. <laughs> it seems this bridge was cursed. Was... Do, do any of us... Jelly with his hand. I was going to say, can any of us retort with, that was a fucking mimic. Do yeah, you, like, do, do any of us know that was a mimic? <laughs> um... <laughs> I would say... I, I don't think I would, I but don't think Fabio curious. would, no. Uh, Sophia would not know. I would say if you if you feel like you might have read about it, roll an Arcana check. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and roll, because I feel like... <laughs> Three. Nice, nice, a lot of no, nice net one, Basil. <laughs> God, what is bridge? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Shane, you probably would have heard about them. You would have heard about them being more likely to be chests or doors, but first time you've heard of a bridge one. Hmm. I, I don't think it was cursed. I think this is a creature meant to lure us in. Like a like a bridge that's alive. Like a living yeah, next bridge. Next time I'm just going through the water. Next time we see something like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'll swim. I don't. I'm yeah, I, I, I don't, don't like think I trust anymore. bridges anymore. I don't understand. Yeah. What was, what was its purpose? To, to kill us. Me then die. I mean, that's well, what happened to it, I guess. I'm like squeezing ooze off of my ears. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fear it wrinkles our nose at the sight of Fabia doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we're all alive-ish. Yeah. Do yeah. You need a breather? Yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I do. Skull kind of like moves the jelly a bit. Is there anything? Do we see anything valuable from past meals, perhaps? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh, roll an investigation check. Can we give him advantage? Like we can help him. Yeah, if you um, want advantage, if they help. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah help. Sure, we'll help. Everyone's helping Skull try and find it. Anything. Yeah. You Oh, bud. Uh, that, uh, it's still a 10. Don't worry about it. We actually did not help you. We... Don't worry. Yeah, they were yeah, hindering you. you. Yeah. Hey, Skull, look over here. What do you think this is? Hey, hey Skull. Hey, what's everywhere. this? You would mostly find oh the bones of what could only be described as animals that have been kind of decaying in its body. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's an old road, so it's not too surprising that you don't find anything valuable in it because it probably doesn't come across many... Uh, creatures that would carry goods, right? Mostly wildlife okay. feeds on. Uh, you'd find a lot of fish skeletons um, mm. within its body. Great. So, oh, okay. cool. Okay, cool. That was great. Was a really great way to start the day. Loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Time. Love a bridge mimic. <laughs> Me too. The well, what are you, what are you <laughs> across now? Now we gotta 
Wade? For goo, yeah. I mean, we're already in it, aren't we? Yeah, we're already in it. <laughs> I'm go I mean, yeah, Basil's just gonna get out on the other side. Try to um, squeeze the goo off. Yeah, Fabio was already mostly to the side that they were trying to get to, so she Cold just kind of wade through. Okay, yeah, you. Uh, it's it's yeah, not too difficult we'll to, to get through. It's it, uh, the longer that you're in it, you notice it becomes more and more like liquid as opposed to solid. Mm. Um, by the time a few minutes have passed, it's mostly just kind of embedded into the water and it's just drifting down. Mm. Cool. Yeah, Sophia okay. would just um wade through and then uh, look at Fia and be like, can you do something about this? And then she gestures to the, the slimy, oh, yeah. sli slimy body that she has now. I'll press to digitate the, uh, the slime away. Oh, and clean everybody. Yes, yep. please. <laughs> Light it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Sephira sm smiles and, um, yeah. Yeah, I think if everybody's, like, like trying to take a breather and, and clean themselves up, Fabio would um, maybe move up a bit and do mm -hmm. another hearing check. Okay. Like yeah. a, a bit up the road. Yeah, go for it. Uh, you head up the old pathway, roll a uh, perception check with advantage, right, with your hearing? Hmm. Ten. It might be the stream that's drowning you out a little bit, but you find it a little bit tough to hear anything specific. You don't hear anything coming towards you. And the only sounds of nature you hear are birds and the occasional rustle in a bush from a squirrel running past. But nothing okay. seems to be dangerous here. At least okay, I would... Tell. Sure, I would go back and say, like, it's kind of hard to tell, but at the very least, I don't think anything is coming our way. So if we're just careful, we should be fine. Okay. Uh, we just maybe have a seat for a little bit. I feel yeah. a little... Whoa. winded from that. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm obviously fine. Just like for anybody else. Oh you know, yeah, I need to, to sit like, down too. Down. Definitely. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm like I'm fine, but she she's clearly fine. It's actually more for my sake. I need to sit down. On on Fia's body, by the way, you would see a series of just bite wounds <laughs> and all of her and just bleeding down them. Oh God. <laughs> uh, what point of the day is it? I believe you got up at 6 a.m. and walked yeah. for a few hours. I think, if I remember right, you got here around midday, 1 p.m. Uh, sounds right. And then... Just to refresh, we separated from the captain yes. stuff. We're hunting. Yeah. We're heading yeah. to this bandit place. Yeah, they're okay. on the main road. Yeah. Slaver. Yeah. Uh, so probably about 1.30. Okay. Okay. Uh, Scott will say, maybe we should make camp and... Attack them at night. Oh, not a bad idea. That's actually smart. Uh, he gestures okay. to Fia and says, mainly so. Timothy can heal you. I, I mean, you know, I guess if you, like, if you want to, just get like some practice in or something. Is anybody <laughs> else hurt? It's, it's fine. Yeah, I'm hurting. A, a decent amount. Let's see. Are we long resting? Is that? Yeah, what actually. We I mean, like if we're do? resting, then he doesn't. Rest? He doesn't need to heal anybody. Yeah, if we if we just rest until night, we could just long rest yeah, it, right? Eight hours. Yep. Mm. Wanna do that? Let's do then it. in RP, I heal you guys, but we don't have to. <laughs> yes. In RP, I'm like, it's cool, but thanks anyway. I don't think I don't think some of these wounds could just be healed by napping. No. <laughs> What god do you follow again, uh, Timothy? I know I've asked before. Um, I wrote this down. Oh, where is my sticky note with everything? It was the goddess of healing. Yeah, uh, Somra. So you you would you would know um, with her that there's a deep belief in in the power of sleep and that uh, rest mm -hmm. itself is is in your dreams. That's how people are mostly healed. Um, and there's a power to it. All right. So you want to set up I camp guess. and long rest? Yeah, yeah, before you rest, though, um, I'd like to check in with Fabia and just sort of... So how much how much farther do you think it is from here? 
How much farther do I think it is? About, <laughs> yeah, yeah, about uh, f- probably 15 minutes till the abandoned village, oh, and then okay. it's above that on a hill. Oh, it's close. That's why I keep trying to make sure that nobody's coming. Um, so... Do you, do you guys think there's maybe a way that we could, uh... I'm just going to kind of look at Basil and Safira. Um, I don't know, like... I... Is, do you think it's possible we could, like, kidnap Ramir? Or maybe not kill him right away and just sort of ask him some questions? Yeah, we should give or... him a taste of his own medicine. Like, what he did to, you know, all the people back in... Done well. Whoa, this is the dark side of Basil that I'm super into. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's a bad person. He deserves it, right? Totally. Like, he yeah. hurt my friend. Yeah, you he... should do the same thing to him that he does. That would prove you're I a don't... good person. He might have some information that 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 we want. Uh, so I don't. I just maybe if there's a possibility that we don't necessarily. <clears throat> Kill, kill him. Yeah, Is just he, kidnap uh, him. Sophia shrugs her shoulders and she says, I don't mind. I can kill somebody slowly if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, I, I don't know, I'm going to look at uh, Ed Scald and, and Timothy and Fabia and see. So, we uh, kind of know Ramir slightly-ish. Um, we all met, actually, because of him uh, in, a, in, a, in a cage. And, uh, anyway, okay. so, uh, hmm. it's a little bit personal, I feel, just so you're, just yeah. so we're all clear on that. It's definitely, okay, like, yeah. a little bit personal, but also he's a terrible person and a slaver and awful. And we freed so many people who were just stuck in this cave and they were, uh, being forced to mine for something and they didn't know what it was. They were looking for something and they were being kept awake, like, like nonstop with potions to search, like by an evil scientist guy who was terrible. Whoa, yeah, he's okay. dead. He's so, right. very okay. dead. Uh, very Ramir tight. escaped, um, and that's kind of why we're after him. Right. Um, but he has a boss, and they're really interested in that cave. And I feel like I'm interested in that cave now, and I kind of want to know what's going on. And it's just if we have the opportunity to kind of, you know. Ask him what the hell is happening. I'd like yeah. that. Get the man. Yeah, sir. let's do that. Absolutely. For sure. After we ask him, though, I kill would him, wholeheartedly right? like to kill him. Absolutely. Sick. So, okay. Gold has yeah, his yeah, back yeah. turned, and he's trying to catch fish, but he rolled a natural one, which means he, the goop is still <laughs> yeah. matching it, and he just goes, During... is healthy. Yeah. <laughs> during, this, uh, during this point, Safira would sort of walk um, downstream um, a little bit and uh, try and hunt some small game, um, and also while doing that, show Blossom. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you're hunting small game, I'll say roll a survival check. Mm-hmm. You can also gather food with your your background yeah. if you need it. She she will be doing that as she goes. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Some mushrooms, Survival? berries. Yeah. Oh my god! I also rolled in that one. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah, yeah, we have literally well. the there's four on the page that you can see in the past ten minutes. I know. I'm nervous for us. What the it's... fuck? In that case, she she just picks berries and looks like a poor mother who can't. Yeah, you don't <laughs> you don't even come across a single bit of game um, as you walk along. Perhaps it was the sound of fighting. Perhaps just the mm-hmm. area itself, you you couldn't find uh, a single bit. And also, any bird that you saw would have flown away. You hold, saw a whole tree of them just bluff away as you uh, as you walked close. So. Unfortunately, she, okay. but, but berries and mushrooms. But she finds mush- berries and mushrooms. She um. And returns. a reasonable amount of, uh, to, to feed the entire camp. Okay, she returns to the group and, and says, um, I think the uh, bridge ate all of the game. And shrugs her shoulders. She offers uh, everybody some berries and mushrooms. Oh, I love berries and mushrooms. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Um... Tomorrow, tomorrow I will feed you better. I'm sorry. No, this is great. She, feels, she looks a little bit embarrassed. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Fabi Fabia legitimately like as as Basil is like, I love them. They're so good. It's my favorite thing to eat in the world. Fabi is like, right? <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, you really <laughs> Wow. Cute. I love her. <laughs> 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 Amazing. <laughs> she, uh, Safira would um, smile very, very slightly at Fabia's enthusiasm. It made Safira feel a little tiny, oh. tiny bit better. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> What's everyone else cool. doing? Whilst, uh... Oh, so you go. You go. Oh, I was just, I was going to ask because I think I missed it. Are we doing a short rest or a long rest? Long, long I believe. Oh, okay. Cool. So we're all healed. All good. Sick. Replenish. Um, can I... Since I'm already healed and haven't used mm -hmm. anything yet, could I use the rest time to do recon? Yeah, absolutely. Smart. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, after I'm done eating, I'm gonna like... <laughs> like, slap her legs and stand up and go, <laughs> All right, you guys chill out. I'm going to go, uh, and she'll point at Fia and go, can you message? Yes. Great. I can too. I'll just let you know it's up there. And then, um, she'll like start going up the path a bit. Okay. So, Safira, yeah. um, narrows her eyes and just, uh, just, just slyly checks with her eyes to make sure that Fabia is not running away with any gold. <laughs> <laughs> what a, oh, uh, God. what a perception check, uh, Safira. 15. If you are running off with any gold, you can roll a stealth check if you like. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. As far as you're aware, you can't see her carrying anything um, that might be stolen, Safira. Okay. Safira nods her head and has a little bit of a somewhat of a smile as uh, Fabia goes up slightly in her books. Oh. Fabia. What pace yeah. are you going off up the road at? I would go so they're they're gonna be down there for a while, I think. So um I would really take my time. I'm trying to uh figure out like how many guards there are. If this is now a kidnapping mission, mm -hmm. like how many guards there are, um try to get some information about how often they're like changing guard if I'm there long enough. Yeah. That sort of that sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Uh whilst everyone else is setting up camp and whatnot. <laughs> If you head up uh, the road that you're familiar with, you'd get to... The first place you'd get to is an abandoned village. A lot of it's grown over. You have plenty of moss where the, the kind of pathways were are completely overgrown. Um, seems to be quite old. Some of the thatch roofing has fallen in. It's it's a very basic village, almost like a hamlet, really. Okay. Um, maybe about 20 houses tops, 30 houses tops. Most of them are kind of crumbled in, um, weather, wither, uh, or things passing through. Um, you can roll a history check in case you've heard of this place. Okay. Being quite secluded, though. I don't know that I would I know don't think anything you'd know about much. it. No, actually, yeah, yeah. You. I'm not going to bother rolling. I don't think I would know. Yeah, makes sense. At the top of, you'd see the occasional rats and what's uh, scattered by in the day. But if you could roll a stealth check for me as well, please. Hmm. 21. Uh, 21. Very nice. You pass by almost silently through this little abandoned village. You see that no one is living inside this part. It seems to be completely abandoned. Um, okay, occasional cool. animals scampering around, but no dangers there. Up on this kind of winding path going up a hill, you'd see the kind of the palisade walls of this fort. Um, on each corner of the palisades, you would see uh, towers. And they are only about 10 foot higher than the actual walls, the walls themselves being about uh, 15 feet high themselves. There's a gateway in the center. There's a couple of palisade barricades at the front. Roll a, from this distance, unless you get a little closer, um, at mm -hmm. this point, it's you're at the bottom of the hill in the abandoned village. Um, right. To get up the hill would probably take you just a couple of minutes um, of going up the winding path. You can kind of see it in the distance, though. You're probably like... I'll get a little closer. Yeah, okay. Um, 
slipping by the trees and the bushes. You'd notice actually at the top of the hill as well, any of the trees which were around it and kind of going up the hill have clearly been cut down. And it's quite... Okay. Uh, for you with that roll, I'd say you'd be able to duck b between some of the stumps um, and, and go through a few of the bushes. But most of the trees have just been kind of harvested to, to build up this fort um, for reparations and whatnot. Okay. Roll a perception check. Um, up to you if you're 17. trying to hear anything or if you're trying to see anything. Um, you can do hmm. both if you'd prefer. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> like, I think there's information to be got from both. Yeah. Like, Do I want to see, like, where guards are positioned. Yep. Um, so that would be that roll. And then uh, 15 for the hearing roll. Okay. Is that with advantage? Yeah. Okay. You would see, hearing-wise, you can hear that it's quite quite loud in there. There's clearly quite a lot of people. You can't really make any distinct voices, um, mm. nor how many people that might be there, but you can hear the raucous of, of uh, daytime fires crackling in the distance. Um, you can hear people shouting at one another and, and laughter. On the actual wall itself, you can see a singular guard on top of both the towers in front of you. You know that the fort kind of wraps around as well, and you can see these distant towers. You can't make out if there's anyone on the distant towers, but there's uh, it definitely wraps around. There's more towers at the back. And then... Just over the palisade wall itself, just above the spikes, you can see um, between the gate on either side, there's a, one person pacing both sides. So there's four people in total that you can see. Um, okay. Just watching over. Um, one of the ones that's pacing is kind of just leaning over and uh, looks fairly bored. The other one still just glancing out, checking for anyone. Okay. Um, and I guess I would head back once i got in in distance of being able to do message which i think is 120 feet so it's like mm -hmm. not that far yeah that's the country but, right yeah yeah um i guess i would just come all the way back okay it's not really a point um yeah i'd come back after a while and say there's a lot of dudes in there but there's only four people at the front and uh, there's actually like a little village that's totally abandoned that's at the bottom. If we wanted, we could set some traps and stuff down there in case we got chased, but that's a lot of work. So it's up to you guys. Are any of us good at traps? I look to the rest uh, of the group. I'm not. I mean, not I. Like, take some, I don't know, take some rope, like tie it over there, tie it over there. You trip a guy, right? Like how yeah, like, complicated does it need to be? Yeah, exactly. That could be funny. Could we right? lure him out, maybe, and trap him? I mean, do, mm. do we want to brute force our way through, or...? I mean, I do how, feel like I should say... People? I would like to question him, but also, I would like to stay alive. So, if it comes down to... Like, let's not... We can find it, you know, let's... Just... I don't want to... I don't want to, like, destroy I mean, everything, you know? The info that you guys want could potentially get just from listening you might oh. not need to like talk to him right that. he could be just talking about it on his own yeah. if it really is that That's big true. of a thing so if we wanted to aim for that first and just i'll wait here lay low. Low. Drop. have you guys um have you guys ever heard of uh of on mythos by any chance have like i uh, <laughs> i don't even i don't even no for you fabia Okay. Um, I would say everyone else could probably roll Basil. I'd say you can roll you can roll a history check with advantage. Okay. Um, Sephir and Skull just a history check. And same with you, uh, Timothy. Eighteen. Oh wait, Basil would know because he came with to the temple. Oh right, right, right. Is it the oh, yeah. uh, yeah. the tale yeah, yeah. of the dragon? Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Timothy, you would you would have um, for you, Safira, you might have heard the name in passing. Um, people mm -hmm. kind of referencing the name. Okay. Whereas for you, Timothy, uh, you would know on Mythos as being uh, oh, known as the Purple awesome. Dragon. Uh, I say. <laughs> 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 you, uh, asking Alexa who uh, on Mythos is. Um, <laughs> 
Alexa, roll a history check. Um, so you would know, <laughs> Timothy, that uh, essentially it's kind of a kid's story for the most part. People tell it as kind of a cautionary tale. Um, the Adventures of Omythis, the Purple Dragon. Uh, whether it's real or not, it's hard to say, but for the most part, um, people just see it as a fictional kid's story. Uh, on Mythis was meant to be kind of the storyteller during the chromatic empire and the chromatic rule. Uh, the timeline itself of this world, uh, if you've been around any civilized society, you would know that uh, the years are set after the chromatic fall. ACF is the is the kind of general term, the same way we have kind of um, AD in real life. So it was a very important point of history. And he was kind of the kid's storyteller or what happened during it talking about kind of like and then the giants fought back against the white dragon etc so it's nothing more than a than a kid's cautionary tale so, so i wouldn't think it's true or anything i would think it's just a story yeah it's as told. far as yours where it's like where's where's waldo okay okay <laughs> <laughs> that took me so much by the way to say waldo instead of wally <laughs> we appreciate that thank you <laughs> i don't <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> I've betrayed our people. <laughs> I hope you feel good about yourself. Yeah. Sorry, I just missed like the last like minute of conversation because my headset died. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. You don't, your you character doesn't know anything yeah. anyway. Yeah, it's actually right. It was just information <laughs> that God. Timothy knew. Um, so I'm going to just kind of check in with Basil and Safira again. Mm -hmm. Um... And kind of look at the rest of the group like like should we like should we tell them without kind of saying those words like that uh, face i i mean i i think i think we can trust them right yeah so uh you know how silk was um gonna go to the sister cliffs uh fabia we have a friend silk he's going to the sister cliffs <laughs> uh, goblin <laughs> he's a goblin um we met silk uh in the sister cliffs when we were taken captive by ramir and um when we were in the cave that that was their hideout the slaver um, cave after we freed everyone after he made his escape um, as we were kind of coming back out, um, we noticed there was a little opening and uh, we saw a little kobold. And so we went over to say hi and we followed them. And they led us through a tunnel and then it opened up into a much bigger chamber where they were all hiding. Um, so the slavers had moved in, the kobolds were living there, the slavers had moved in and, um, and they all kind of retreated, right, to hide. So... Um, luckily I can, I, I can talk to them. So they were fairly nice to us. Um, and, uh, when we, when we came into the, um, the room, it was a huge altar, like a, like a, like a really huge altar. I mean, I don't know, sometimes you see some altars and they're just like altar size. This thing was like massive and it had all these like engravings on it and stuff. Um, and there was a, uh, there, there was some writing on it. Um, so we asked the kobolds if they knew what it was and they, and they didn't. And, um, they kind of just said, you know, like, no, we don't touch it. We don't do anything with it. And it probably makes sense not to just walk up and like touch a strange altar. Right. So we didn't sure. touch it either because it seemed like maybe that would be a bad idea. And anyway, then we kind of, uh, we found the words and, um, the words mentioned, I don't know. It seems like there's something going on right there. And it, it mentioned, um, that, Something was in it, and it was enclosed by On Mythos. But like, On Mythos is like a fairy tale. What but it is, said, I've never even heard of it before. So we asked at the temple back in Carburn, and they said that he was a purple dragon that was like the storyteller of the chromatic era. And so he like captured all the stories and wrote them down. So they didn't seem to think that he would actually take any action himself but like i wrote down what it says and i'm gonna dig through my stuff mm -hmm. to find the p paper and um it was written in draconic but i can read that so it was fine and it says um 
what can't you read, right? <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, I don't know. It's just that you look at letters, you could, like, read stuff. Right. So it said, um, within stone, his body lie dormant, enclosed by, by the... I'm just curious. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Enclosed right. by the hands of Onmythus, only of the art one may open, Volrend, he who doth avoid. So, like, I don't know who Volrend is. Probably pretty shitty if he's stuck in an altar. I don't even know if he's stuck in the altar. I don't know if you touch it, you let him out. But I do know that Ramir and his group were really trying to find that. And, and we it found feels it. like they suck and we should make sure that they don't find it. Yeah. R Wait, okay. So you're trying to find information about a place that you don't know the location of, but also you want to go back to the place that you... Well, I want to... Uh, it's to more like... We know the altar is there, and I kind of told Silk, we told them it was, I mean, we didn't tell them what it was, but we were like, also, there's kobolds there, be nice to them, and don't let anything happen to the altar, because you're going to move in there. <laughs> so right. hopefully that works out fine. I think it's going to be totally fine. They'll get along. Okay. For sure. Um, but I, I don't know, something's trapped in there, and it could be really bad, and I think they were trying to probably, like, keep everyone find awake it. to, like, find it and let it out, yeah. is my guess. It so, seems like it. So the whole thing is the slavers capture people to try to find this altar. So whatever it is, it must be bad news. Bad people trying to find a bad thing kind of thing. Right. Yeah. So, like, I guess we already know where it is. I just would like to know if, like, what else he knows and why they were, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's dumb. He was trying to find it so they could, like, let something horrible out. But, like, maybe he knows more than that. But also, if we have to kill him, we have to kill him, and we could dig around for information elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, I think should definitely kill him. He sucks, right? Yeah, Obviously. we're for sure killing him, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And then we just find, like, whoever his boss is. We killed Yule, right? Oh, we know her, person. actually. Oh. So yeah, her name she is actually Yule. was in our head, like, like back in Carver, she, like got in our head she was like what did you find in the cave and i was like uh, i'm not gonna said, tell go her what yourself. i found in the cave yeah Wait, talk to your brains yeah I, yes you can it was the first time that had happened that was weird i i had almost forgotten about her and eventually. also actually when we met timothy and scold on the way to from where we met them to carburn they actually sent a group of bandits to stop us from getting to carburn yeah. And the yeah. bandit said, like, yeah, we've been waiting for you. And they had a letter from her. So, anyway. Huh. We should okay. for sure kill him. But yeah, if we have the opportunity to, to ask questions, we could. But also, we could just kill him. Because that's on. what we know. I have an idea. Um, I just, I, ha I have a new spell I want to try. It's invisibility. What if... I went invisible, Favia snuck in. Maybe together we could try to get Ramir tied up or something. Um, uh, I just, Counterpoint, I like where your head's at. Counterpoint, okay. probably is never alone. <laughs> so, right, okay. need to, you know, check if he's alone, wait for right. bath time, right? right. And right. then right. go for it. It'll be awkward because okay. he'll be like super naked, but if, you know, like whatever works. What if we stole some disguises of like... Of like sexy maids and walked in and said, we're here to give you your <laughs> bath, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like that could work, Probably honestly. Not. I like this. Yeah, I, I think that could me. work. I'm conspicuous as hell, but like, you know, somebody else in here, the bear, that could work. As you look towards Scald, you hear, <laughs> and you realize he's been asleep <laughs> under a tree. Oh my <laughs> god! He hasn't heard a thing. Not the story. Oh my god! Heard. Nothing. Nice. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I think. I mean, no matter what, we could actually go in and scope it out, right? And and totally, uh, not be caught. Hopefully, uh, but yeah. If you can be invisible and I can basically be invisible, then we're good, right? Yeah. 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 Do the guards have any uniform? Uh, they didn't really, did they, Joe? No leathers. Uh, all of them yeah. wear bandanas, though. All the ones you could see were wearing kind of bandanas across their, their face. But that's about it. 
No specific Another thing I could do. Blah that. We could knock out two important people and I could disguise us as them. Kind of good at disguises. Hey. Okay. There's some options. We have options. Well, uh, if you cannot get them alone, I think it is a good idea to have some uh, some fighting strength with you. So perhaps well, you both can go inside, you know, beat up a couple of people and take their, you know, outfits and bring them back and then we can go in. Hmm? Yeah. Sure. And if anything goes wrong, you can just, like, send a message to Fia, right? With the whole message yeah. thing. Yeah, we can, we can brain chat. Right. Totally. Cool. Okay. Uh, what could possibly go wrong, right? It sounds Literally like a nothing. very... This is, yeah, you know, we had a really... Actually, really great. everything went really well today already. So I feel great <laughs> I know, about right? our chances because Literally we had a nothing super has great gone day. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. That's been fine. It's, it's going to be a fantastic night. Our luck will hold night. for sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's still it's still only about two p.m. right now because you haven't done your long rest technically yet. Yeah. Scold, scold, sleeping. <laughs> okay. All right, all all of you, sweetie pies, you go sleep. I'll keep watch. It'll be fine. All right. Coat. Just sounds it. good. All righty. Do you want to sleep for the night? Oh, the day. Yep. Yes, we shall we'll rest day. until <laughs> right. 10 p.m. <laughs> all right. Uh, who's anyone taking a watch between all this? Is it just... I'm watching the whole time. Okay. Because I don't... I'm fine. Skull will probably wake up halfway through and do like a last watch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, For the first part of the whole watch, could I please get a perception check from you, Fabia? And then for the final yes. bit, could I get one for you, Skull? Just one perception check? Yeah, one should cover it. Uh, with advantage for smell? Yeah, yeah I'd give you advantage for hearing. And can advantage, I have advantage for, smell. for hearing? Sure. Oh, God. <laughs> 14, much better. <laughs> Over the next course of, of six or so hours, as you're kind of resting, um, Scold and Fabius looking out, you are. You don't notice anything unusual. The occasional animal might come into the vicinity and then avoid, totally avoid the other bridge um, area and kind of pass over the broken one or bound over the stream. But it doesn't seem like there's anyone coming down here. Um, for you, Skold, as well, the same. By the time that everyone's woken up and evening, you haven't been disturbed. No one's come down to scout out anything. You can't smell anything unusual in the air. Okay. Okay. Cool. You wake at... 10 p.m. as a group and uh it's quite a dark night the cloudy night no real moon in sight and you're in the woodlands what would you like to do cool um uh, yeah go for it oh scold is gonna cover the tip of his maul up in a cloth because it glows mm. And, uh, everyone ready? Yeah, yeah. let's do this. I'll yeah. let them do their thing. I'm no, I'm no good at sneaking, so if anything goes wrong, I'll rush in, but I'll just sit back, I guess, wait. and wait. What do you mean, sneaking? Oh. They're, they're gonna... Oh, yeah, we're like, a, we're like a team now. Like, we got sneaky and invisible over I'll here. Tr I'll try to, like... Do this on his shoulder, but literally can't reach. So just, like <laughs> against he his hip, you, basically. He would notice you try to do that, like lower, like awkwardly. <laughs> Six things. I would have been super embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, I got you. He <laughs> goes <is> so cute. <laughs> you. Right, what cool. do I do? Huh? Wait. Well, wait. Well, wait. Like said, that little is helpful. At the bottom, it's empty. So if you guys want to just like chill there. Yeah. We'll um, go there. Okay. Well, how close would Fia need to be in order for me to do like a mayday message? Like, would she need to be on the other side of the wall somewhere? Yeah. Uh, Probably. Yes. I would say in total, I can actually measure it. 
before showing you okay. guys it. Um, let me just see how long. Oh, yeah. Voice. Can I ask this question? Sorry, Joe. I know I Absolutely, literally just asked you something. Yeah, um, no, no, no. I'm I cannot, I cannot remember how tall we said that Fabio was. I know that she's technically like a small creature, but I think we said like four feet ish. Yeah, three feet. That makes sense. Yeah, feet. probably four feet with, as, and then E is okay. probably pushing up a little higher. Right. Okay. Just double checking that in your mind I wasn't like one foot tall. <laughs> No, no. If anything, like an you're the opposite. Like always, yeah. an actual you rabbit. Our pockets, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, the cutest, uh, tiniest little short bow ever. <laughs> <laughs> My mom made it. <laughs> this whole time, you guys are still just hallucinating from the drinks, yeah. and she's not actually a character. <laughs> just a real rabbit. Um, cool. Okay, so uh, on this dark night. You head up there. Yeah, I would say the actual fort itself, I just measured probably like 150 feet uh, in its kind of area. So 150 feet wide and long. Um, actually, maybe a little bit uh, longer than it is wide, but 100 feet wide. Um, if message is 120 feet, you're probably going to have to be fairly close depending where they break into it. Okay. 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 Um... Could I... Oh, I should have done this during the rest time. Well, there are, there are guards all the way around, yeah? Yeah, you didn't technically check the other side, but... Right. Um, It's safe to say that there are four towers. Um, and probably have a guard One. on each, but you're not too sure if it's the same at night. Um... Okay. I was trying to figure out if I could, like, sneak around the perimeter and listen and see if I ever hear his voice. Do I know his voice, though? I guess I, I would. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would know his voice. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so one other thing is I can't really, I can't really see very well. I, sneaky, but in the dark. Oh, yeah. I can't really see very well so just have to go really slowly and then i'll just hide and then you can message me okay got it got it got it got it okay <laughs> it's gonna be fine this is gonna be totally it's gonna be fine. great okay. it's gonna be really good <laughs> wait i have a question <laughs> of course yeah can i out of combat <laughs> Once we know where we want Fia to be, can I dig her a hole? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I would, I would say That's sure. Amazing. That is amazing. Why not? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Drink yeah. some of the um the uh the alcohol thing that we brewed. Oh yeah. shit. And then like, oh, yeah. the, the digging power. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a racial ability called dig, and once per short rest, I can dig a shallow hole to give a person half cover. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Holy so, shit! If I can, yeah, if I could just like dig a <laughs> dig a little hole for Fia, that's so cute. Yeah, I mean, it'll be it'll be full cover for Fia, but. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! That's not what it says on the tin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could definitely do that once you get close enough. Great. Great, um, cool. All right. As I said, it's a very dark night, so you could probably guess that you can get pretty close. Okay. Um, I don't have a secondary, uh, account for Roll20, so chat will see more than you guys will see. So I'll just okay. show off faith that, keep your eyes on Roll20, try to avoid the stream, yeah. uh, look. And, don't look uh, at stream. Got it. Yep. Also. Where, Whereas chat gets a little oh, bit of I dramatic see. irony. Yeah, I need to set up another right. account so I can do Fog of War a bit better. Um, okay, so what's your plan? What would you like to do? Uh, well, do we like the plan of me trying to kind of pinpoint where he is from the outside? Yeah, we could do okay. that and then... I think so, right? Like, we know there's a lot of people in there. We don't really... Mm. We're tough, but... What, are we going to take on an entire fort of people? Right. Yeah, I don't think that's a good all. idea. 
Yeah. He should kill them all because uh, they suck. But... moping because he wanted to take on an entire four people. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might if we get caught. So yeah, it's fine. Yeah, look at it this we way. We don't need cold. to set any traps. We'll just leave skull everything... in the middle of the road. <laughs> if everything goes wrong, you're gonna have to rush in there anyway. So. He he looks a bit more excited about the prospect of things going wrong. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I guess like it would probably be safer for me to just go back up there by myself, at least at first. Okay. And I guess I would just like really carefully kind of walk around the edge and stay stealthed and try to just hear listen for his voice. Okay. Um approaching up, could you if you're heading that way? Could you please mm. roll a stealth check for me? 20. I'll bring you on to... The chat won't see this yet, but you guys will. Okay. So I'll bring you on to this. Um, if you want to put yourself... Okay. Uh, you don't see anything in the middle, do you? On the no, left side, um, you want to pace yourself wherever you're kind of sneaking up from. That's the beginning Great. of the hill. All they see is an MSN man. That's so weird. How do I change that picture? Wait a minute. There's token editor? What? Are you trying to change the button? Drag an image. Her character is just like a I'm little... I'm an MSN man. Yeah. trying to figure you click out. click bio and info and then edit. And oh, then yeah, you have to add, add an avatar. You put a little character in there. That'd be a joke. <laughs> yeah. Drag. It says drag an image on me, but when I drag it on, it doesn't do anything. Oh, no. Update. Update token. Okay, hold on. And work. then delete delete that bitch. And then, and then drag. Then... Come on. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, give me access to our character sheet. It's okay, then they yeah, won't I will, recognize I will. you. They'll just think you're a stranger. Like it's, a, there. A it's there. Yeah, exactly. I'm just an everyman. <laughs> I blend in. I'm I just no Eric. Leave me alone. I just got lost in the dark. <laughs> I saw lights. I came your way. Full cover. Someone said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Sam can do that. If you have, if if you have the uh, thing for Sam, a little token as well. Um, oh, it's already. It's already. Give me your character. Right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, approaching at night, give you some idea of what you're kind of come up against. You see a couple of torches on the front of the, the fort. Uh, do you have dark mm. vision? I do. Okay, good. Uh, you would see the front of the fort is fairly well lit. The towers aren't very well lit. Um, in your dark vision, you can, you can make out on a tower just up to your right, one of the front towers, you would see a guard kind of just stood there looking out. This one? Yeah. Um, okay. On the other one, on the lower part, they, those are like 10 foot above uh, the walls beside it. Uh, on the lower part, you would see um, a lady uh, wearing a bandana who's just kind of hey. watching out. There you go. Nice. Um, oh, watching out at the, uh, ahead of her. But the, the, the lighting itself only reaches probably 10 foot ahead of you. You're in the darkness at the moment. Um, the wall seems to go all the way around as well. If you need more room, by the way, I can shift the map a little bit as well. Okay. I guess I'll like um yeah, I'll I'll get like as close to these spikes as I can and mm -hmm. kind of use them as cover and then um do my first listening just right at the gate. Go for it. With advantage perception. Sixteen. You can tell that it's quite quiet at night. Okay. It's the laughter's gone. Uh, you hear the occasional cough in the distance. Campfires, kind of just embers burning. A little bit of uh, a little bit of kind of chatter in the distance to the southeast, probably about sixty feet away from you, but you can't make out the words. It seems for the okay, most part so... that the fort is asleep. Okay. Um so would I be able to if the if the light only reaches like ten feet, would I be able to kind of cross over this way and be okay? Yeah. I say okay. with your with your current stealth roll, yes. Okay. Um if I hear voices more southerly, 
um, I guess, yeah, I would try to just kind of like go from bush to bush and be really quiet mm -hmm. and sort of make my way south. The guard on top of the uh, tower there. Roll a perception check with sight. Okay. Seven. Can't really make him out in all of a sudden everything, but he's, he's stood looking out. You know you're in the okay. darkness and there's no light protruding from this bit. Okay. I will try to, like, extra careful make it to this bush without getting caught. Roll another stealth check for me. Please. 27. Woo! Nice. Absolutely silently. <laughs> Not a um, sound is heard. I'll then try to kind of get over here so that he wouldn't see me. Say from... I face with the same stealth throw, yeah. Great. We'll do like stealth uh, every like certain amount of feet and plus uh, uh, depending what you're trying to do. And so at this point, we'll still go under the, the guise of the 27th. So you're absolutely silent against the wall. Okay, I'll I'll follow the wall. If I thought that the voices were coming from like more this direction, mm -hmm. maybe I would get like this far and then uh, a little further and then do another hearing check. Okay, yeah. Uh, roll another perception check with advantage, please. 21. As fear is... Sorry, Fabia. There's a lot of Fs in this. Uh, <laughs> Fabia, <laughs> Sophia, yeah. and Fear. Right now. Um, you pass Just your two. way alongside the Palisade. And you've got the wall to your left. 21. You can hear that the sound is coming directly from here. Um, from, like, right where I am? Yeah, just uh, maybe, like, 30 feet away from you, just to uh, kind of the northwest. Okay. That's where you can hear chatter. Uh, you can also hear, further to your east, you can just hear this loud snoring, like... <laughs> The chatter. Okay. You can make out occasional words of. Now don't cheat. Give me your gold. Oh, I'd better cards. No, 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 no. I'd better cards. Come on, push them over. You can deduce that these people are just playing a game. They're just gambling, yeah. Okay. Um, what? Uh, was Ramira a human? Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Then I'll, I'm already here. I'll take advantage and move more this direction. Okay. Um, try to like, if there's a guard up here, I'll try to continue to stay up check. against the wall. Uh, sight? Yeah. For this one. 12. You don't see a guard up there. Okay. Um, once I get to this tower. I'll do another hearing check. Go for it. Oh, shit. I'd say Seven. that you, you can hear just the snoring. There's nothing you can make out. The snoring's much louder at this point. And you just hear <laughs> from just beyond the wall. Okay. I will try to keep alongside here. I'm just going to go around the perimeter since. Um, and uh, Roll a, uh, what's your passive perception? 14. I'd say where you just got to now, you'd see between mm. two of the palisades where they haven't been kind of pierced together well enough. There's a slight gap in the wood. And through oh. it, you can see that this is a big building going along the, the kind of backside of it. Um, it it's roofed. It only goes to about the same height as the Palisade. Um, and it seems to go all the way down the back of the, uh, the fort, this building. It's kind of like okay, a barracks so like, looking building. All right. Kind Wooden of like, structure. it's like right along here, just along the back like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. it's, a, it's it's five foot further than that. I actually, do you know what? I'll give you a little bit of sight as well, um, so you can kind of get an idea for it. I'll give you this, as you can see. About that much. Oh, okay. Perfect. Amazing. <clears throat> then I will move along here and try to get kind of centered again, and and do another one. Go for it. 
Oh my god, six. Wow, bad, bad. Wow, yikes. <laughs> you can't hear anything beyond that? Whether that's okay. because people are there or if there's no one there, you can't make out for sure, but... Okay. Seems to be silent. Do I see this guy? Uh, yes, you would see him from there, for sure. Okay. He's looking out straight ahead of him, not your way. Okay, then I'll stick to the wall. Okay. Uh, and come on here and do, do... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 19. Oops. Oh, that's but fine, we'll even take first normal, that's it's fine. 19. Uh, yeah. yeah, you pass by silently. Um, where you are now as well, uh, <gasps> just before, if you went back here, um, passive perception-wise. Um, oh, here, yeah. Um, I also just did a, another perception roll and got a 22. Uh, yeah, so with your 22, I'd say as you're going to pass along, it seems utterly quiet at this point. And with your sight that you can see into here as well, um, you could probably make out that there's no one really guarding the back except for this one person. Um, okay. Through the gap you see as well, you would see a bucket with flies around it and three kind of like open pitted toilet areas. Um, gotcha. Just to the left. The smell over this part is a little worse, uh, a little bit more rancid. And there's no one guarding it. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I'll start to head away then. Okay. Try to. I'll try to s sneak back to the group. Yeah, I'd say go off your beep. previous stuff, bro. Beep, beep, beep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah. A few minutes later. Where's the rest of the group? Are you guys gone to the abandoned village? I think that was the plan, I'll right? Say, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I would say in the abandoned village at night as well, you'd probably see... Uh, who's got the highest passive perception? I, I think it's Fia. Yeah. Fia, you'd notice um, yeah. a family of foxes that live in one of the abandoned houses there as well. Oh. So you're just watching with their eyes glowing through kind of a little gap oh. in the wall. You guys should adopt one. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Another pet, yes. I think, I think Griffins eat foxes. No. Ooh. Stop! I mean, I would think so. Definitely do. I don't like this. <laughs> Out of character. Out of character, I hate <laughs> this. <laughs> Bree doesn't like this. <laughs> Bree will remember this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're at the village. I just sort of waved to the foxes and. They stare the whole time. Scott's leaning against a, a wall, just yawning. Um, How are you ugh. still tired? For the rest of you. You just slept. <laughs> He's bored, not tired. <laughs> I would say... A waiter. Yeah, maybe uh, just because Scold and, and, and Severe don't really live around here or not, not anywhere close. Um, Fear, Basil... And mm -hmm. Timothy, roll a history check about the village you're standing in. Oh, I got an eight, so I don't know shit. Nineteen? Twelve. Yeah, I would say I'd say Timothy. <laughs> Timothy, you would have heard this of this place. It's called Hermwald. Um, if it's a description you've heard of. It's called what? Hermwald. H E R M W O L D. Um, if it's a description with the fort on the hill and everything. Uh, this is a hamlet that was known and one of the few that uh, was abandoned after the war. Um, the way that most of the villages survive in a kind of fantasy world like this one is they rely on the guards to come and pass by occasionally and they rely on a kind of infantry. After the war for more, there were so few people still left in Kessex in, in terms of their kind of previous numbers that creatures from the sister cliffs would raid towns different uh, goblins or any monsters would come into the towns and they'd have no one to defend them um this was one of the few ones which went and built a fort to try and hold off uh but eventually had to abandon it uh, so this is one of the abandoned village after the war that's really sad <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Kessex. you <laughs> would see fabia 
Actually, I mean, you probably wouldn't see Fabia as she approaches. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just right in front of someone's face. <laughs> I'm stuck inside! All <laughs> oh, the lights suddenly just come on. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Fabia would... Uh, she would probably, like, sneak pretty close and, like, hide behind a house and then, like, really coolly just, like... <sighs> Oh, what's up, guys? Um, and walk over mm. and and give them kind of the rundown. Be like, yeah, I actually uh, double take. I think for the most part, everybody's asleep over there. There's definitely some dudes awake. They're gambling, so they're distracted, which is great. Um, around the back, there's an opening that we can slip into, and I think only like one guard back there. And I, a huge building all along the back side of the fort. I would assume that's where Ramir is. Um, but I I think that we're going to be able to, as long as we're quiet, I think we should be fine. Okay. So um, we're just going to... Just yeah, interject for a second as well and say, there's a cool and a bad feature about that message spell, by the way. Because um, mm. I'm just trying to remember it. The cool thing is that anyone can respond time. to it. Right, if you message them, so you could message Scold, Scold, message anyone. They don't need to have yeah, it right. back. The only issue is that you need to be pointing at them. To uh, it says you're a creature oh, you really? point at. Yeah, you have to know yeah. like their general direction, right? Oh. And then if it's like X feet of like stone or whatever, it could stop it. Yeah, actually, because oh, it says shit. toward a creature, I'd say just general location. Yeah, you yeah. don't actually have to see them then. Yeah. Good to okay. know. You just have to point your finger oh, toward a creature God. range. I was about then... to be like, I would like to take yeah. a different spell, please. <laughs> right, yeah. So just yeah. point towards the creature's range. So as long as you know where they are. That just stops okay. you from like messaging someone you don't exactly know their location. So there you go. Yeah, you're good. Gotcha. But yeah, you can message anyone. Uh, so what do you think we should do? Like sneak in the back and then maybe take out the one guard and... Yeah, bring us close quietly. to whoever will fit them if we wanted to do that whole thing yeah um there's somebody snoring up a storm inside yeah. of that back building <laughs> so i mean i didn't hear anything else back there i don't know mm -hmm. if that's because he was just snoring so loud but it might it might mostly be sleeping people in there well that's good for us yeah and you'll okay. be invisible so like i'll fuck be it, invisible let's do it. yeah <laughs> I'll do it. I, I think, yeah. I think that's a good I enough can, game uh, plan. I mean, I can... I can make myself look like someone. Um, I just, right now, can't also make my clothes look like their outfit. So, if, I, if we stole an outfit, like, I could just walk around looking like them. Cool. And sounding like them, I guess, if I knew what they sounded like. So, yeah, let's uh, go in the back way. Yeah, let's do it, right? And then if it. everything goes terribly wrong, we'll just set everything on fire and kill them yeah. all. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> yeah. This and we've got fine. we've got the bear, right? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I yeah. keep forgetting your name because I just look at you and see bear. But like, you'll be <laughs> there to just like kill guys if they try to run away or chase us, right? So like, all bases covered. <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait outside. We'll be close. Every I'm single base. I'll wait. Totally covered. This is fine. Let's go. More than fine. It's it's flawless. Really just soundproof plan. Totally. Okay. All right. <laughs> so anyone who's sneaking around the backside of the base, I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Um, okay. I will show you chat in a moment. I'll make it a little bit wider so that you can. Um, is that the one you were thinking of? The one in the back? Is that the way you wanted to go? No, I'm just, uh, no, sorry. I'm asking, like, is that the guard we were thinking of, like, taking his yeah. or whatever? Okay. Yeah, the one yeah, that's yeah, next yeah. to the latrine. That one. <laughs> this boy. Did the boy read the dare? As yeah, as far as I could tell, he was like super on his own. So, so I'll give you some more uh, room so you can put your your pieces down. But if everyone puts their pieces down uh, over here, you'd also see that anyone who has dark vision, there's no light at the back. They haven't got torches up. Oh, 
Um, Amazing. Anyone Good. who puts their pieces there, uh, whilst you put yourselves there and wherever you're kind of getting aligned to, and anyone else who wants to be on the board anywhere that might be, you know, like Scold, I know you're not going on the secret mission, um, or this is <laughs> the uh, a stealthy part. You can put yourself at the front or the back, wherever you want to be. Uh, but just before we get into this, though, we're going to take a quick five-minute break to let everyone... Oh, use. I have to pee so Yeah, bad. I do too. <laughs> I, I do too. too. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, wait. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. a long time. All right. <laughs> Let's be back in like five or so and uh, All right. continue there. Okay. Sick.
Thank you, everyone, for coming by, the, by the way, uh, to episode 14. We've got plenty still to come. Probably play for another hour and a, and a bit. Not too much longer after that. I won't keep them around for a longer length. But uh, just waiting for everyone to get back, and then we'll uh, kick started. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna pull you guys up now. <laughs> oh I'm gonna pull you guys up now by the way because missing this is just too much. It's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. It's incredible. So good. I came I came back just to see it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Please don't do that to me. Well I didn't I didn't get it on the uh, on the video. But uh Oh good. Gosh, what a shame. <laughs> I, uh... Damn shame. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, um, has everyone put themselves onto the board? Yes. I, I, I have. Me? Yes. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay. So. I'm hiding in the dark. Well, it, Fabi, you could be on the other side if you want to come in from that side. That's where the other two have put themselves. Off into the white zone on the uh, top right. The white zone. <laughs> well, that's because I didn't uh, prep enough grass. <laughs> Do you want us to stand on the grass oh. so it makes you feel better? No, I no, see. it's fine. Boop. Great. All right. Okay. So for our stealth team, if you could all roll stealth, please. Uh, I'm gonna cast That's invisibility terrible. on myself. Okay. Yeah. Roll so a stealth check anyway, but physically, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oops. Uh, that was a fourteen. Oh Jesus! Christ. Jesus Christ! What are my rolls today? I only got a nine. Eight. Okay. So much for the plus six. So you snuck around, and you're approaching uh -huh. the fort from the uh, the other side. Trip. <laughs> the one guard. You hear him. Leans over the palisade. Start back here, right? Leans down. Lifts up a torch. You can hear him. The flint into the. Can I? Would Before he lights his torch, I got a misty step <laughs> back. <laughs> okay. Aims the torch off. Uh. Hold on, let me delete my or take out my thing. Let me just do this. Uh. Um. Three. I got a perception check on him. I can't really move her, but he she lights off. Back. What did you roll again, um, Fabia? Fourteen. As he points the torch across, he just sees you lit up. You see your face kind of glare in the in the um, uh, in the bushes where you are. Can I, if I see him starting to light, does did um, Basil have enough time to go and viz? Yes. Right, moved over here. Basil will be invisible during this. He only sees you. He's pointing in your direction because okay. you're next to Basil. Right. Yeah. I'm but if here. if I saw him like going to light something, mm -hmm. um, I would hold my breath to go invisible as well. The light illuminates down. He sees nothing. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. You see him just kind of walk over and you hear this pssst, as he puts it into a bucket. And uh, it. Um, I'll... <sighs> and then <laughs> pop back up. Okay. And and look around and see if I can find Basil. <laughs> like, like holding my hand. <laughs> like... uh, yeah, you can touch still, right? Invisibility doesn't... Yeah. Is you're still physically okay, there, yeah. you're just physically you can't okay, see. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, if I can if I can feel him, I'll like and then um mm -hmm. he's gonna thumbs up back but realize no <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. I'll like I'll just <laughs> like follow me and take him to where the gap was. Where was it? Like here? Uh a little further down. There, I believe. Okay. Um Fia's gonna stay put because so... she can't really see. A little south of the hill fort. Yeah, you're you're a little bit away then, yeah? Yeah, I just misty stepped back away from him, and then I just 
Okay. Was like. How far did you miss step away? Uh, right where I am. Okay. I think. Okay. Wait, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know how far it goes. Wait. Hold on. You can move. I feel I like I would remember that you can't see. Because haven't we been through this before in the caves? Yeah. Okay, I would grab your hand <laughs> and pull you along. I'd be like. <laughs> Just an invisible like, hand. Yeah. <laughs> I would squeeze it like once, just like hesitantly. You'd like, squeeze it twice back. Okay. And then I'd be like, all right, cool. Even though we never made that signal, I would just no. be like, that. Be like yeah, that's fine. It's definitely that's dazzle. Like a dazzle thing. The yeah. light's going to come yeah, back yeah. on and you're just being led by a bandit somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Okay. Um, once uh once i'm at the gap i will listen go for it double check that everything's chill nat Ooh. 20 20 beautiful you can hear the snoring coming from uh south of you a little further down um something, something large is fast asleep a little south of that yeah just past because that's mm. uh i'll give you a little bit more of you two actually uh this is still yeah coming. i'll like i'll i'll peek my head through a bit it's all still part of the building. Um, you can hear a window. Uh, through a window. So you can hear a window. <laughs> That's why <what> you <laughs> yeah. probably can hear a window. Um, <laughs> you can hear Toss just through hair. the window. <laughs> a very distinct. Like, it's muffled. But you can hear just the sounds of shifting. As if someone's, like, springs in a bed. Just on the other side of the wall where you are. Near where the window is. You hear that? Okay. <laughs> Um, I'll look back and forth. I don't see anybody still. Just this, just this guy. Yeah, and he's facing out the other way, and it's complete darkness for him. Um, I'll do like a move out, team move out, like <laughs> to Basil, and okay. um, step forward here. Is the window so, here? Sorry, the gap to get through. Uh, it's probably not wide enough. It's more like a kind of thing you'd have to climb oh. or uh widen it somehow oh it's, sorry okay. i should describe it better it's it's more it's i mean with your shape you might be able to squeeze through but i would say roll both a, I'd, I'd say roll a an acrobatics check just to see if you can kind of <clears throat> shimmy your body through oops it was an eight you would probably find yourself get stuck in between okay and you <laughs> It's kind of just, you're on your side, stuck <laughs> half of you inside the it's like, perimeter. The it's like that out. Winnie the Pooh episode. <laughs> yeah. Stuck in the hole in his butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'll, like, I'll kick my feet at Basil, like, help. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, he's going to, like, quietly be like, should I push you or pull you out? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to try and pull her out towards me. Okay, roll a uh, athletics check, please. Okay. 13. So you successful, successfully pull her out. Uh, you get some minor scrapes, but nothing nothing that hurts you. It's kind of pulls okay. you a bit, a bit uncomfortable. Uh, um, yes. like... Um, <laughs> in the direction that I think Basil's in. <laughs> Wherever you are, thanks, bud. Um, and then I'll, I'll whisper... Um, definitely a couple of people in. Um, but I'm not really hearing anything, so... I think we're good. We just need to... I thought I could get through here. I can't. Just got to figure out a way to get us in. Could we... I mean, I guess I couldn't have because I can't see shit in the dark, but when Fabia was, like, doing recon the first time, did she notice, like, was there any way to get, like, in from any of the towers or anything, or it's just, like, a solid wall everywhere else? Do you know so what I mean? Like, there's it, no... When you say solid wall, it is roped together palisade uh, logs that have been spiked to the top. You could technically climb this if you put your foot on each of the kind of rope ties. Um, Let's climb and shimmy it. yourself up. Um, we got this. Obviously, it could go wrong if you fell at the top, but it's, uh, you know... It's, uh, <laughs> How tall is it? Uh, so this part is... Uh, the wall is 10, did yeah, you say? Yeah, about t or... 10 and a bit feet, yeah. Probably about 10, 11, 12 feet. It's not too bad. Hmm. Um, should we try climbing it? Sure, let's... this way. <laughs> I'm pulling Fia along still. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> totally fine. Whoops. Ooh, Fia. Come on, girl. 
So they're moving uh, south of it. I haven't shown off the map yet, just because they'll... Go there. There's a lot of spoilers. Here you go. Oh, did I just hide you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't see our <laughs> thoughts anymore. <laughs> it's literally what I can see right <laughs> now. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, like, reach out again, and when I feel Basil, I'll go, Can I get a boost? Yeah, totally. And he's gonna put his hands out. I keep forgetting he's fucking invisible. <laughs> like waiting. <laughs> yeah, I'll like put my foot like. Mm, mm, mm. Here's my question. Can I, can I high jump off of his hands? Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Nice. Holy um, shit. I'll high jump off of his hands and just hop over the wall. Nice. Okay. Uh, could you roll a stealth check to see how silently you would land? Totally. That makes sense. Nineteen. Nice. Nice. Just like landing in, in a pillow. You uh, land on the other side. I will give you more sight now as well. You can see just around the corner. Oh, oh Jesus. A sleeping half ogre leaning up against the side of the oh. building. It's next to a well. Um, a bucket next to the well as well. Oh, boy. Um, and you can um, see the window to the building just north of you as well. Okay. Uh, through the, like... Through the wall, can they would be able to hear me through yeah. the wall, right? Yeah. Since it is roped together, through the wall, I'll go. Go no. Wait, what? You cut out in call. <laughs> oh God, go north. Go, <laughs> go north a bit. <laughs> okay. Go north a bit. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh Jesus. I pull. F <laughs> what do you think, guys? For I'm gonna, fear. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Maybe like so right you guys here. can see in the, in the chat. I get that. I can't see how far you've gone, so I'm just oh, yeah, so that's like, true. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he won't go too far. <laughs> Basil's gonna like five miles uh, down the road by now. Just like, how, did she say how far? <laughs> we just get <kept> going. <laughs> Basil's gonna squeeze Fia's hand and be like, okay, I can give you a boost over. Do you feel like you could comfortably do this? Comfortably? Well, have you climbed? You're experienced in stuff. You know what? Here. Before, but I mean, this is. I think originally the plan was that Fio was going to stay outside. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I was going to wait for an outfit. <laughs> I'm going to leave you here. <laughs> is that I feel like what is a great idea, definitely, is if I just like wait by this random hole in this fence and then yeah. you can shoot me a message back oh yeah because go anywhere right or set okay anything on fire wait are you where you want to be positioned <laughs> i have no idea okay no idea where's it's the hole better in we... my head uh i love when an idea comes together gang yeah we're doing great yeah okay i would i would we like guide her through the hole <laughs> Yeah, I would guide her to the hole and like kind of put her hand like where the hole is so that she can feel like okay. the wood and the hole in front of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would go back up here to get myself over. Try to try and get myself over. Okay. The wall. Are you going to climb on your own? Yeah. Y okay. Yep. Uh, could we get a athletics check from you, please? Okay. 15. Yeah. And then can I get a stealth check? You easily find your footing and you manage to pull yourself up the rope using it kind of as a bit of a, uh, you find a little bit of loose rope that you can use to kick your feet against it and kind of almost abseil your way up. Okay, 11 stealth. You make a bit more noise. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can deem it's not exceptionally loud. Okay. You're on the other side. Yeah, if we, if we look at this guy, is he doing anything? Uh, which one, sorry? The one on the top of the tower? Yeah, the, the uh, dude who, like, he is for not. us before. He is uh, just kind of... You can kind of see him leaning forward, looking out uh, the other side. Uh, or the shadow of him, the kind of silhouette of him. Okay. Um, where is... Now that I'm on this side, do I see the window that yes. I probably heard? The window there? is there. So. Um... I'll feel oh, around. I, I just accidentally <laughs> moved myself. For Basil. No, no, oh, you're, you're, you're in the right place. He comes forward and reaches out to you. Ah, right here. 
You can see um, into. Oh shit. This room here. I'd say based on the lighting in there at the moment. Ooh. You can kind of see. Wait, that much of it right now actually. That would be. Uh and the head you can make a roll of perception check. It's just actually too it's Fabia. like just a head. It's not a body. <laughs> <laughs> Job done. You can make out the man lying in the bed there is indeed Remy. Okay. Oh, Amazing. Shit. Inside, okay. you can see a table with uh, abandoned cutlery, uh, just one plate. Uh, it's got a candle that's kind of dimming out on it, um, a water skin lying flat. You've got this bed, uh, kind of a rug that's been pierced together, a tattered rug at the bottom of it, a dresser at the end of the table, just five feet away. Uh, a candle that is a little bit more lit at the uh, at the, the side bedside table. Um, over to the right is a desk. There's a sack on it. Um, you can see a kind of a map that's been drawn out, some parchment and whatnot, uh, empty bottled. Um, but it seems to be empty of guards in there, as far as you're aware. Okay. I will send a message to Fia and say, we found him. He's alone. Well... We found him. He's alone with a lady. We found him. He's mostly alone. Can you can you get to him? Yeah, but we need to figure out how to keep him from making noise and her. So, I guess I'm sat here in silence as you're looking <laughs> in, right? <laughs> I'm like I'm like staring at the gap in the, in the wall, like really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Joe, mm -hmm. does Girl, hypnotic shit. pattern work when someone's asleep? Uh, or could I like good question. ready it? And then if we wake them up, they're instantly put at that, uh, what is it? Wisdom saving throw to see if they are charmed. Um, let me check. It there's, will be a wisdom saving throw, yeah. But, uh, there's yeah. no light back here at all, right? There's no light back here. There's a they little light on this like, side table, I guess. It's, Sorry, Joe, what? It's any creature who sees the passive. So he would need to be aware. Okay, so the, okay, okay. Um, okay. Okay. If there was light back here, could I see through the wall? Because it's just like botched together. Roped together, right? Logs. If there was light back there. Yeah. Yeah. There's no light at the moment, though. That you can no, I know. See. Okay. 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 Um... Oh, I'll also send a message to her and say, there's also an ogre on the side over here, which is why I told you guys to go more north. I realized I didn't tell you guys that. <laughs> okay, I have a... I'll also, I'll also, like, reach for Basil and be like feel like we're gonna be so much closer after i've accidentally touched all of you but there's a <laughs> <laughs> um, i will uh oh i will message uh fabia back and i will say so i think i know how i can get on the other side of the wall as long as the that guard in the tower is looking away because i can cast oh, easy so I can cast a dancing light in the gap, and I can misty step through. Oh. Which means, right? Because it's oh, just a place I can light. see. It's an unoccupied space that I can see, right? Unoccupied space that you can see. So if I can yep. see through and it's light, I could do that. Which also means that I could actually do the same thing inside, but I don't want to do that. And I wouldn't say all that in a message because that's a really long uh, thing. <laughs> but I could... I could get in there, which seems maybe a better idea than just standing awkwardly on the other side of... Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me double check. So I have it. Um, yeah, I'll just message back and say, oh, I'll just... I'll, like, make a sound and have him look away. Sorry, with an illusion, not, like, with my body. I'm not dumb. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, yeah. I mean, let's do that, and then at least I'm on the correct side of the uh, wall. Okay, I'll like start to move forward and like, uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> trying to get out of your way. <laughs> just be like, I'm sorry. And just like, no. just <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, wait, how close do I need to be for a minor illusion? 30 feet? Might, yeah, it's rather, I think it might be 60. I check. 30. Uh, Is it 30? 30. 30. Yeah. It's not an image of 60, I think. Um, okay, so I'll like move closer. Look at this fun recon mission we're all doing. Isn't everybody yeah. having fun, including right. souls? <laughs> so what's what's um, everyone else doing actually at the front? Were you guys just waiting uh, to hear anything? Yeah, I'm just sitting on the floor trying to listen <laughs> to the can. Do you guys all know perception checks to muscle. see if you hear anything? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, okay. They just start beating ass at the front. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I get bored and just start kicking ass. 18? They must all be dead. <laughs> 18. Uh, Eight. I'd say that. Do you want to roll as well, Scold, if you want to hear anything? Um, or smell anything? I mean, smell would. would you can do that. <laughs> it probably would give you less information, um, useful information. Um, for you, Safira, you can hear the rustling of tents and people sleeping. Someone saying, oh, keep it down. And a couple of gambling. Oh, all right, all right. You told that's kind of the majority of people on the side you're at. Mm-hmm. Safira would just fine. um relay the um the unhelpful information of the things that she's heard. Meanwhile, she would um just be maybe playing with um Blossom and seeing if maybe she can try and teach Blossom to any tricks while she waits. <laughs> okay, do an animal handling check. Okay. Should be trying to get Blossom to sort of come on command again. Okay. Does Blossom know invisibility? Can we send <laughs> 14? Come on. Come on. That's, that's the animal handling. That's a kicks good superior role. Yeah. Compared to all the other ones. I was one. <laughs> uh, you would call quietly to Blossom. Maybe it's the fact that previously you were doing it in loud locations. Maybe it's the fact that you kind of, you know, you're calling a little louder. Now that you have to be soft and a little bit more stealthy and quiet, he comes towards you based on her name. Oh. And nuzzles against your hand. <gasps> oh, cute. <laughs> oh. Fabia. Yes. Did you want to do your illusion? Yes. Um, I want to I want to replicate um, a sound that I was very used to growing up, which is like a really jarring, aggressive um, owl noise. OK, so <laughs> something something that would make you be like, oh, Jesus, but it okay. wouldn't make you think there's something weird going on. It's just it's like a normal outdoor noise, but it's surprising. Got it. Um, yeah, so, so I guess I'll where, where that last... are you looking to do it. Oh, sorry. I want to do it like off in this direction. Okay. So that he's looking the opposite. Distracted way. while Fia gets in here. Yeah. And I guess technically the sound lasts for a minute. So I guess I would have it. You can kind of have like, it interlaying like every now and then. Yeah. Like yeah. occasional out, normal owl noises. But the first one to make him like snap over. Yeah. Just make it really like screechy. You can also. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Um, you let out the oh, oh, and you just think, what the f he's like looking off oh, oh. just staring off into the distance you can see he's distracted okay um i will message fia go now okay so fia will put a little dancing light on just one on the other side of the wall mm -hmm. and see that there's nothing there. Maybe Basil, but she doesn't know because he's invisible. <laughs> and yep. she's going to just... Boink! Okay. Quietly misty step in. You have a very, very dim light kind of piercing the window there. So you'd be able to see that and nothing uh, else, right? Really. Okay. And uh, then I then see... Yeah. So then I'm going to take that, like, kind of few seconds, see that the window is right there, and then kind of whatever, see the tower, all that, and then extinguish the dancing light. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll totally forget that Basil's there and try to walk toward Fia and just bump <laughs> right into it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I should just stay up against the wall. I, 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 that was all me. 
No, I, I mean, I'm invisible, so... Um, um, should you break in and, like... I, I are there know. other... Are there other windows? Like, I just walked along this entire back of yeah, I would the say building. Did there's, I see other windows? There's one. Let me just check my notes. Uh, yeah. I've drawn that in a strange color, but I will draw it in color you can see. Right. Great. Um. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll kind of, like, gesture to Basil to come mm -hmm. this direction a little bit. Okay. Um, assuming that Basil will also bring Fia because Fia yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Squeeze his Fia hand. Fia, go the correct way. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. right. um, and then I'll, I'll whisper to them and say, there's another window over here, so I'm going to try to climb in there because otherwise we're like right next to him and definitely we'll wake up. Right. Um, okay. But after that, like, what's the plan? Um, well, I can ready. I can ready a spell. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay. Wait, uh, <laughs> I didn't hear that. Sorry. Oh, he's in bed with. He's in bed with a lady. So he's so not maybe like alone. This is like girlfriend or something. Are they sleeping or are they like well, I mean, in bed? Like they're in, they're like in bed in bed. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can ready hypnotic pattern, so if they wake up, I'll cast it, and hopefully they'll be, you know, hypnotized. What if they aren't? Uh, then I think we need to call for help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, do you have a better idea? No. <laughs> Alright, I think we should just go for it. Okay. Uh, okay. Like, this, just for my own edification, hypnotic pattern, can you, like, cast it through the window and it'll show I'm up? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Out? Yes. It's a 30-foot cube. Okay, um, great. Um, patterns appear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I can just look through the window and cast it. Wonderful. Okay. Um, I will then, uh, come over here and look in the window. Do I see any other, any other stuff in the, That's in the right. darkness? Yeah, I will reveal the darkness. Oh, sorry, I forgot to move. Let's see that the only two is in that it. a chest for Reno? Not that I care. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it is. Oh my, God, <laughs> my goodness. Um, you got okay, the whole room then... available to you. Yep, there's a chest, boxes, and crates and stuff in the corner. Great. I no will problems. try to sneak in. Okay. Um, this is where shit gets mm -hmm. dicey, fam. If you no. want to open the window, use mm -hmm. your thieves tools to kind of slip under it. Okay. Uh, do you want me to do like a a sleight of hand check or anything? Or do we just uh, say it? Can you I roll with it. thieves tools? Uh, I think it adds your decks, right? I think you it can if you click on I, them. Yeah, you just click it. Oh, that's what I did. Oh, input value. It's asking. Um, if I click on it, it says input value. You're proficient with what thieves are you clicking tools, on? Honey. Yeah, I'm proficient with them. Uh, so, I think you need to add your dex modifier to the tools. Uh, that's my way is on roll twenty. Yeah. Oh. Uh, if you want to um, roll for now, you could probably roll attribute dexterity. Is that right? Yep. Roll yep. dexterity and then add proficiency. That uh, should work. Oh, okay. There cool. we go. Sweet. Oh, a nat, a nat one. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. We got a lot of those oh. today. <laughs> nat one being a twelve as well. <laughs> you pull it up a little too fast as you unhook it. Glass shattered. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. In this moment, this guy. The fuck was that? He's reaching for another torch. You hear him. Tss, tss. You can hear the rustling as these two are trying to get out of bed. What was that? Wait. I'm not sure. Anything you want to do at this moment? Uh, potentially. I want to try to hide, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So I'm invisible. I would have tried to do a hypnotic pattern, I think, on the, the sleeping beauties who are now awaking. You would have cast it? I, unless, well, yeah, that is kind of what I think we agreed on, right? Mm-hmm. 
Can you in character? Yeah, I'm trying not to are. meta at all, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the range on it is. Uh, Do you have to see uh, where you cast it? It's 120 feet, and it doesn't oh. say anything about seeing. As long as you see the yeah. area, you're good to do it. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. What do you want to do for um, the same time? Oh, fuck. I really don't want to do this. Everyone want um, a stealth check, by the way. Stealth check. Yes, please. Uh, Okie dokie. Anyone? Uh, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Uh, twenty-two. I'd actually say you're oh, okay not to roll one battle because you're technically not moving. But, actually, no, okay. because you're casting a spell. You are. Okay. Making noise. Um, okay. Okay, so we just heard that guard start to react, right? Yeah. And we can hear that he's gonna start. This all happened to... within like three seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay. Um. Hot hint. Okay, as I guess we didn't hear anybody else react. We just heard that guard and we heard the glass shatter. That's all we heard. I thought we heard the two inside wake up. We heard the two oh, inside I'm sorry, to wake we? up. But uh, do I hear the ogre stop snoring? Uh, you don't. Okay. That's okay. Um, here's a, here's a, uh, like a mechanics question. Cause I've never tried to do this in a game before. Mm -hmm. How do, if, if I was like, so I'm hidden now, I mm -hmm. technically have advantage to like sneak attack this dude, regardless of who's around. Yes. Um, how does it work if I'm like, I just want to, I just want to like, just like knock him out. Knock him out. Yeah. 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 We took the damage and, uh, and if it succumbs over his health, then he's knocked out. You have to do his full full health bar. Um, right. Yeah, that's oh, kind of what I figured. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. So, but you can. I would say with a sneak attack, if you want to do partway damage and then whack him with like an extra bit with a sneak attack, I would allow that as well. Um, it's kind of like a little bonus whack. But I mean, he's going to be surviving if you don't do it either way. It's, if you can, you. It's. Also, based on the way the man looks, oh, it's possible. It's definitely possible to just knock him out. Um, for you, Basil, just to, to, to uh -huh. get this clear, it's wisdom saving throw, yeah. right? Yes. Hmm. What do they have to be? DC 15. Okay. Okay. Are you going for that guard? You were, yeah, I would, I would say, sorry, Fabia, are you? Based know, on sorry, what you can I'm, see, yeah. you don't know. Fear, you're just gonna have to act without. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, new question. <laughs> yeah, no, no, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, hidden, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Once he gets close enough, can I like shove something in his mouth? Yeah, I would say you could do like a grapple check to. Uh, to do it all like a sleight of hand if you're going to do that. But, I mean, you can put something in his mouth with a quick sleight of hand. The thing would be holding him down afterwards. Oh, great. Mm. Which would be more of an athletics thing. Uh, mm. And it, again, it's dark back here. Nobody else is back here but us that I can see. That's right. right. It's totally dark. He hasn't lit his thing yet. He's lighting from what it. I like, know. During this is like a three yeah. or four second moment where he's yeah, yeah. grabbed the torch and he's about but to light it. But from what I... From what Fabia told us, he was in the tower and nobody else was back here. Yeah. We just know that there's the half ogre that she saw as well. Yes. Yeah. Which is why I'm wondering if there's like an easy way for us to just incapacitate him without making mm -hmm. noise. Um, I, Fia not being able to see. Right. Um, anything or not being able to, to, to sort of, I guess, can she see the guard? Can Fia see the guard? No. You have okay. no dark vision until a D. You'd know no. his general location. You heard a, heard someone say, what the fuck was that? In the darkness. <laughs> but um, you don't see dim light at all. With that stealth check, am I... I mean, I, see, I assume once he turns on his light... Dude, my dog just... Sorry. Um, uh, oh. Wait. <laughs> sorry. No, no, it's okay. Right, no, go it's good. Good questions are good. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, okay, if we're assuming that we're all like that we're all hidden, yep. right? Fia and I both rolled really well. So if we're all hidden and we move away from the window, I want to take um, uh, something from my bag. Okay. And leave it next to the window as though as though it was like thrown at the window. 
Um, I had, oh shit, I had that rock, but I put it in the other bag. Are there rocks around? <laughs> this is so in, flimsy. I'm just trying to think of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the seconds that you have, I would say that if you were to kind of frame it, um, because all you're doing, right, is a stealth thing and you're going to try and put a rock next to the window, right? I'd say roll, <laughs> yeah, I guess. if you go with this, roll an investigation check. This is what you have to do. You could maybe find a rock in that time and put it next to it. Okay. I say do it. You can't find a rock across the end. You're looking around. By the time you're looking, if, Fia, what are you doing during this? Because I'm going to go ahead with it. So, yeah, I would have, uh, with that stealth roll, I would have uh, backed up. Okay. Ah, oh, God damn it. Fia, why can't, every time, roll 20, so, just like, <laughs> that was crazy. Points the torch down. Sees the shattered glass. Mm -hmm. Points around. I'm going to roll Five, eight. 10, 15, 20, 20. Sorry, I have money. Did you roll your stealth, Fabia? Um, 21. I rolled a nat 20. Fuck's uh, sake! But that doesn't <laughs> critical. No, hold on. Critical rolls don't apply to ability checks, so it's right, only okay. a twenty. Oh! <gasps> is it all done? So there? his torch is on. His torch is on. Okay. He starts climbing down. Put his torch out. He passes right by you next to the thing, looking at the glass. Steps up to it. Oh my looks god. Around. <laughs> Oh my god. The flames just kind of flickering right next to your face, Basil. Like, into where you can kind of feel the flicker. Basil against. would just be like holding his breath, just like. Aww. He looks at the window. He begins drawing his blade. One still sheathed. He has uh, a blade out and a torch out? Yep. And then uh, he moves and starts okay. running. Oh god. Oh dear. Anything you'd like to do now? You're gonna let him well, run. As he was turning to run away and I saw it, was it obvious that he's like like yeah. getting ready to just like dart? I yeah. would have tried to trip him. Okay. Like hook just hook my ankle around his ankle and like as, pull. Uh, knock him down. Yeah. Nice. So if it's again, if it's completely dark back there and I don't think anyone else is back there, but well actually. If I try to throw a ranged attack is Bethel in the way? You don't know. You have no idea where Bazel is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... I would say if you want to try and trip him, though, Basil, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd say we're going to do like a grapple check, but it's going to be more of a uh, your acrobatics versus mm -hmm. uh, his to see if you okay. can slip your leg around in time. Okay. And, uh, if you can trip him in time. Oh, fuck. Six. God, I'm rolling so eight. bad today. You put your foot out. Oh, he gets past sucks. you. All right. What do you want to do, Fia? Um. And Fabia? If there's anything you want to do. Yeah, I mean, we can't let him... Um... We can't let him spot. go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta so, go, go, go. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna hope that they're gonna attack. I can't see, right? But I'm gonna hope that they're gonna attack, but I'm also worried that I don't ex actually know, like, if Basil's in the way. So tell me if this works. Can I cast Magic Missile instead? Because that's supposed to hit that target that I can see, and I can see his torch. Yes. Uh, you can cast Magic right. Missile. You know uh, I would also say, though, uh, is it it's is it vocal? It is, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. You know that casting that that will make quite a bit of sound. Yeah, so I will not make any noise. You're going to spend your sorcery <laughs> point to go subtle. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so not making any noise. <laughs> okay. <I will>. Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, so you can cast her silently. I uh, will very quietly and shoot uh, three darts and hope that they're going to attack as well, because three darts is not going to kill him. Um, that is an okay amount of damage. That is 15. Yeah. You see these missiles go... And they almost weave around you, Basil, like they know where you are. And they uh -huh. You see him get hit in the back three times, blood spurting as these kind of little small explosions against the back of his back. Um, okay. He looks extremely hurt from all of okay. Like his whole uh. back has just opened up. Okay. Uh, does he look like he's going to fall? Uh, he looks like the adrenaline's kicking in. And does he look like he's going to yell? Running. It's just all in the second right now. You just hear this. Yeah, I will... I'll sneak attack him. Okay. Like as he's as he's like stumbling forward and he's going by me, I'll I'll sneak attack. Go for it. Um so I roll the short sword and then I add sneak attack if it hits. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Nineteen. What do you want to do to silence him? Um so I think what she does is as like the missiles hit, um, she'll like jump up, grab his mouth, and just stab him right in the chest. Okay. You just hear after you after the missiles hit, go behind. <laughs> he goes limp in your hand. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um Yeah, and I'll try to I'll try to set him down quietly and then message to Fia and go, nice! You got your costume! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going Perfect. to... Um, hearing that, I guess I'll try to very quietly edge up a little bit away from that uh, window right there. You'll be able to see on the ground, by the way, because his torch is lit on the floor next to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mother so I'll pick it up so it doesn't start okay. a fire. Yep, it's smart. Yeah, right. Very smart. Um, all right. So I'm going to walk into Basil because I don't see him. <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> Hi, Basil. <laughs> Good job. Good work, everyone. Okay. Uh, do we want to put that torch out? Because I feel like, will they just think, I don't know. Yes, do we... uh, probably. I'll, um... It's not like we can't light a torch, right? Basil, just because you would know this any... as well. It's been about 50 seconds. Oh, fuck. My hypnotic pattern out. only lasts a minute, by the way, guys. So. Okay. Okay. Um, realizing that. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't you don't know oh, actually, a big thing here. When you cast hypnotic pattern, you would have been visible. I will Ooh, say, because of the. For the sake of it, I, I would spend another spell slot to go cast that invisible again. If you want me to, like, actually yeah, take away... Yeah, I will away. say, because that was my mistake to, to not remember that. Um, the guy didn't really notice you um, as you okay. focus on the window. But you would okay. have lost your invisibility when you cast Hypnotic Pattern. Because it's Should I spell spend well. a spell slot then to have had it back up? Well, if you'd like that it back up. Wait, is this regular invisibility? Yeah. It's concentration, right? So you, you would lose... It lasts an hour. If you're concentrating on it, though, right? Hypnotic Pattern yeah. is also a concentration spell, so you have to do one or the other. Oh, right, so you can't do both. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, wait, so you're you're saying that it, it's okay? Like, he wouldn't have noticed me just because it was a... I would say he didn't notice you because it was my mistake. Okay. Um, but okay, okay. I'll remember that. For you're, no longer you're no longer invisible. invisible. That's, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay. Then I didn't uh, walk I mean, the basil. <laughs> I guess, like... The hope would be that Fia could then assume the identity of this guard. Yeah. Right. And be like, it's all chill, guys. It was just rock on the wind. <laughs> um, <laughs> rock on the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Rock on the wind. You know, I don't know how rocks work. Neither does he. <laughs> We're going to pretend so, this is all a message yeah. conversation. I don't um, know. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, I, I guess I don't really know that. Basil cast hypnotic pattern, so the plan was to get a guard uniform, and I would go up to the guard to try to get that uniform off of him and look at what he looks like, okay. and cast um, alter self to look like him and sound like what I heard him, you know, 
sound like in those brief moments. Okay. Um, what are you doing during this time, Basil? And Fabio? I'm, I mean, feasibly, I think, I don't think I would be thinking really much about hypnotic pattern or like what I need to get in there and do something. I would just hope that maybe we're going to make this work, whatever happens, because 10 seconds is not enough time for yep. me to get in there and try to do anything. So. so. You're casting water self, yeah? Yeah. By the time you uh, cast on yourself, uh huh. You hear the footsteps. Actually, hold on a second. Roll a. Uh, um, sorry, Sam, I just messaged you. If you can look it. Roll a perception check, both. Uh, actually, everyone who's there, roll a perception check. All three of you, Fabia, Fia, and Basil. Oof, 10. Perception? Sorry? Mm -hmm, perception. Perception. 21. Basil and Fabia, you'd hear someone slowly creeping up towards the window from inside. Okay. Um, I would go, like, flat against this wall next to the window. You see um. a head can appear, look out. Like just kind of okay. peering around the corner. Okay. Is she where arms? even is the dead guy? Because I would be wherever he is. I can't. On the ground. Sorry. Here. I'll move you. If All you're right. going to be there. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, she wouldn't know. She would look at you. You look exactly like the guard wearing all his outfit and everything. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Busy moment. Amazing. You can see this. Um, uh, Quite striking beauty, uh, brown skin, dark eyebrows, hair kind of parted aside to her side. Um, eyes that look almost consistently tired, and she can eyes you up. What are you doing? I'm just gonna kind of <clears throat> owls and just <laughs> yeah, owls. To, like owls broke my window over there. Owls broke the window. I think so. There's a lot of them. I could hear them over there. Call a persuasion check. With disadvantage. <laughs> you just told him owls broke the window. Yeah. And there's a lot yeah, of them. No. <laughs> uh, 15. Uh, but with advantage, right? So the 26 would be the one. No, I thought you said this is oh, the disadvantage. disadvantage. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Why did you smash it? I didn't I actually didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Why did you smash it? I'm going to just like hang my head in shame. Who are you? And I'm going to be like, Ramir, is this one of yours? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm stumbling over. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> just like really like sadly like I'm sorry. He looks out. And uh. What the fuck are you doing? What is your problem? I heard. I heard something. What do you mean you heard something? I heard something. And there's. A... So I came to check. I didn't. I don't see anything out here. I'm checking. So you were saying someone else broke the window? All right. I'll get the lads and we'll look around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, I can handle it. Ramir, it's fine. You can handle it? Look around then. What yeah. do you mean it's fine? If someone broke the window. No one broke the window. It was ours. She looks at you. Oh, okay. In the window. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Winks. Yeah. Yeah. It was owls. Everything is owls. Oh man, I have some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What the fuck are we gonna do? Um, okay. Um, I want to look around like this side, please. Okay. Uh, let me reveal that for you. 
By the way, thank you for everyone who's been patient who's on the other side on the non-recon team. Yeah. I appreciate no, it. Sorry, guys. So good. Oops. Cat's on the table, you... so I've just been petting her the whole time. This Aww. seems to be the kind of toilet area we're looking around at the moment. Uh, up to where you can probably see. <laughs> I just see. saw the toilet, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, I'll like come back over to the group and be like, Oh, you cut out. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think could you I could you sneak in there and maybe get a knife to his throat? I, and I don't think they're even asleep. No, yeah, we they're not. Up against but the wall. They're not. I don't think I mean she just came and talked to <clears throat> to Fia. Um Oh, how did that go? Did she buy it? Weirdly oh. well. Yeah, she I don't know, it was it was weird. Owls? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I panicked. At first she didn't believe me, and then he got up and he was like, What the hell broke the window? And then she said it's okay, it was owl. So I said I'd go look around. You'd see as Ramir oh. leaves. If you said oh, you were gonna have a look door. around, you should probably have a look around. Yeah, I'm right? gonna Yeah. I'm gonna um I guess. Well, I'm gonna make a show of kind of looking right here, or and then I'll patrol in. <laughs> yeah, and then because I said I would look to see what broke the window, I'll kind of head this way a little bit, but slowly, like looking like I'm, you know, looking on the ground and all around and shit. Okay. Um. You are in darkness, by the way, for you now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hopefully, will... no one sees that the guard puts a hand out to like feel against <laughs> Fabia, the building. Fabia, do you still have your torch? Uh, I, I did grab the torch, yeah. yeah. But the plan was to dump it in one of these holes. Okay. <laughs> dump. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dump it in the nice toilet. He is not it's going out that torch. Yeah, I guess, like, trying to, again, get a better sense of what's going on. Yeah. As you, um, go over there, you can see the tent, um, around this area. You can see it's probably about here. Um, what you would start to see is Ramir just kind of passing through talking to people. Hmm. Roll a perception check for me. With hearing or without? With hearing if you want, yeah. 24, nat 20. It's nice. Nat 20. And you can distinctly make out the words. Get everyone up. We're being under attack. And you can hear the rustling okay. of everyone. The second I up. hear that, I come back over and I message Fia and said, They're all waking up. He's waking them all up. Then we need to tell everybody. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, yeah. If she says. Then we need to tell everybody. I'll be like, I'm on it, and I'll go over here <laughs> and try to and try to just. How high can I hop? I'm trying to remember. With your race, it's pretty high, I think. Uh, least... High jump is 15, so okay. I can just hop can over it by myself. Yeah. I'm gonna leap nice. the fence, <laughs> and then uh, knowing that there's nobody along here, I'm gonna I'm gonna come around this way, and then. Yeah, and then since I know that they're all there, um, I'm going to message Safira and say, "What?" Just before you what do, you uh, yeah. Timothy, <laughs> Safira, and Scold, if you could roll a perception check for me, please. Yep. Six. Thirteen. <laughs> 
Scald. One last perception check. Yeah, please. Based on sight. Ten. Okay. You don't really notice anything suspicious. You can go ahead now, okay. Fabia. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, message Safira and say, um, they're suspicious. They're waking everyone up. Safira would uh, turn to Scold and Timothy and relay that instantly. So what do we do? I guess so. Uh... We fight. And she smiles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> she, she, she smiles wide and then licks his gold. <laughs> gold frowns. He says, where are the others? She can respond, can't she? Yeah. The, the yeah. message? The message. You you can send a new message, yeah. Mm-hmm. Where are you? Are you safe? Uh, Yeah, I mean... They just suspect that something's wrong. We haven't been found, but we're still at the back. Should we come to you, or should we go through the front? Uh, I would say come to us, but, you know, some of you guys are big. No names. Oh... <laughs> 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 um. But there's um, an ogre back here, and I know a bear that would probably love to kill an ogre. So. <laughs> All right. We will come around back. We'll see you shortly. Um, I'll say, if you're facing the fort, uh, I'm around on the left side. I can guide you. Safira, I... Uh just gestures with her hands to Timothy and Scold, and then um, walks or like sort of crouches around and tries to go to the left side of the fort um, just as directed um, by Fabia. Anyone who's following that, please roll a stealth check. <laughs> Whilst that's going on, Yes. Could I peer through this window to watch the woman and see what she's doing? Like, carefully from, like, yeah. over here. Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Come on, Basil. <gasps> Perceive. Oh, 22! Oh, Not 20. Yeah. Yes. Holy shit! You can see as she's just finished tying her kopesh to her belt, and she is in her chain shirt, and she is absolutely ready to fight. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, I rolled 11 for my stealth. I got a 15 disadvantage. Skull, you follow? You stand there? Okay. He's going through the front. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, if Skull is going through the front, then Safira. Yeah, I actually turn back and see okay. this, and I decide to stay with Skull. <laughs> yeah, Skull um, Safira goes back to then. No way Safira's missing out the fight and stay stealth if the big bat bear is not staying stealth. <laughs> <laughs> it's I have disadvantage on, just so you guys know, I have disadvantage hey, I on and I'll get, kill everyone if I try and stop. Yeah. <laughs> All it's right. Like a, there's like a snapshot of Fabia, like, it's taken them a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, just before they do that, what do, you want, what do you want to do, Fear? It's dark along this side as well, yeah. right? Yeah. I All you can smell okay. right now is shit, literally. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> All right. Okay, I, that's cool. Yeah, I'm that's going cool. to um, kind of keep my hand along the building, right? And I'm going to um, just very slowly inch my way up um, forward, but slowly, because I don't really want to draw much attention to myself, but I also feel pretty confident that, like, nothing Which way are you going? is necessarily back here. Like alongside. Forward, like, uh, okay. to the left. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Roll 20. Stop While moving. While you're doing that, um, what are you three doing down there, then? Um, well, Safira would be following Skull's lead now. Skull? Skull is idea. gonna reach the front of the encampment. Is there people, like, looking over the palisade? You notice this person here. Um... <laughs> 
you notice as you're kind of rushing forward now. That's the goal you let go. Uh, on that first ever battle. Motherfucker, I knew it! Sorry. You're going to have a surprise action on whatever Whoa. you want to do right now. It was so close to killing her because that time. Because she hasn't seen you. You have a surprise action on what you want to do. How tall well, is the palisade? That gate is, is probably about 13 feet high because it's the gate part of it. Beside that, it's uh, about 11 feet high. She um, She's leaning sort of over the top? Yeah. How okay. tall is this thing here? Uh, Not that tall. Probably about five and a half feet up it's more kind of just a barrier for like uh you know just to peer over if you're going to be shooting crossbows or anything like that on the bottom side okay scald is gonna um as he approaches the camp he is going to giant's might okay he's gonna grow 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 he's gonna <laughs> grab terrifying his palisade and throw it at the doors <gasps> oh dude Okay. That's and he's going to let out the loudest <laughs> roar a 16 foot trig vent could possibly let out. Hell yeah. Rushing over there. Throw a, an athletics check. Um, Can Safira make an attack while this is happening to yes. uh, the woman on top? Yep. Um, Can Safira uh, throw um, a javelin? She can indeed. Right. Fuck 20, yeah, 24 fuck it up. on the athletics. Uh, I would say based on the size of that and based on how high you rolled, it definitely hits. I would say roll 4d8. Legend. Um, and can Sophia a reckless attack with this javelin? And add 1d6 because you're technically doing your giant smite. Um, yes. So okay, can. cool. <laughs> 24. 24 hits. All right. 24 damage. Okay. Eight. Eight points of piercing. Mm -hmm. You would see the large skull just rushes forward, grabs hold of it, launches it against the door, it shatters against it. Two of the palisades fall down. So there's a there's a five foot gap. As it goes, just crumbles against it. Two pieces just collapsing. A javelin. Ah! They're back! She screams. <laughs> That's where we're going to end. Because if we get into this combat, oh, it's going to last a long time. I will show you what you're about to break into, though. Um, oh, my God. Essentially. So excited. Uh, if you zoom out, you'll be able to see. Uh -huh. This is the fort, and oh, inside, in the time, so many dudes. My God! Every one of these has woken up. Ramir's gone down here, and everyone in, the, in that time, because a few minutes went by, has donned their armor. Mm. It was a good idea, guys. The, no. the creepy assassination attempt was a good idea. It was good. <laughs> it, it nearly went a lot worse. If you didn't have that natural 20 on the perception check to hear where they're coming from, um, mm. you would have not realized that they were gathering, most likely. I mean, you have to get a kind of a high Oof. one to work out, and right. they would have swarmed you. So, uh, yeah, this is what you're going to be fighting next week. <laughs> Amazing. In a well, practically not a war event. Um, <laughs> the, he the heavy hitter team can shine. Yeah, yeah, please. Yep. Well, we These used are just a lot of time bandit today. plebs for the most part. As far as you're aware. Looks at, looks at Ogre for the most part. <laughs> for the most yeah. part. Yeah. He's asleep. Maybe. <laughs> he ain't asleep anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's a heavy <laughs> baby. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. So. Man. Um, let me move back to the original thing. It's it's just kind of a we just did a three hour session today, but I feel like if uh, if that battle's about to come up, we should save it for a full session because it's uh, yes. that is going to be a quite yeah. a long one. Um, alrighty, well, uh, I'll put on some just background music and then we can go around and uh, if we want to do some shots, uh, should we start with you, Jolly? Um. I don't really have anything to shout out today. Do you want to shout out your channel? What are you doing okay, this week? I guess 
I guess I guess I could shout. I guess I could shout out my channel. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's up, you guys? Um, I'm Jari. Uh, you can find me over on Twitch.tv forward slash DJ AR double I. Um, this week, um, I think I'm going to be trying to focus um, primarily on uh, mostly creative streams. Um, I do like a lot of makeup and body art um, on my channel, um, as well as um, some traditional art stuff. So you guys can can check that out if uh, that interests you. Maybe I'll do some D and D inspired artwork this week. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Do it. Do oh, it. yeah. Um, I believe I should have someone shouting out everyone. You can do X Mage Mark Cast in the chat as well to see everyone's channels uh, and whatnot and where to find them. Uh, Stripping. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Strippin. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Strippin. I'm going to be live after this. And uh, normally I'm live every day at 7 Eastern. Sweet. I play whatever the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, Bree Bun. I almost keep saying everyone's Hello. character name. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> I'm Bree Bun. Uh, I'm, I've been going through all of the older Zelda games right now. I'm currently on Majora's Mask. My first time ever playing it. Uh, and yeah, I'm pretty early on in it. I'll be streaming some of that tomorrow around probably like 2 or 3 p.m. PDT. Sweet. Dex Bonus. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. I also play whatever the fuck, as Sam put eloquently. And <laughs> um, yeah, this was this was very fun. So excited for next time. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Shane Hawk. Hi, I want to preemptively shout out next week when Basil shatters like 20 guys at once. <laughs> yeah. oh, sure. You're so right. Good. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Help. Hi, I'm Shane. I've been playing a lot of Risk of Rain lately. I just got my last Monsoon skin. So I've beat everybody's thing now. I can't stop playing it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I feel like that it's ridiculous. Is impressive, You've done it on like, the hardest difficulty. Um, and yeah, then you're playing so modded fun. difficulties as well after that. It's mad. Damn. It's so fun. I love it. Um, <laughs> old lady gamer. Hello, it's me. Uh, I would like to shout out uh, Timothy for uh, reviving Fia so that she didn't then take enough damage to outright fucking kill her it's because scary. a death by a fucking bridge would have been brutal. <laughs> And True. if anybody had ever actually said that she had died by the bridge, she would have fucking haunted them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> uh, also, um, yeah, remember when we had that friend and she died to a fucking bridge? Uh, also, uh, shout out to the uh, the hoodlum gang of owls that goes around uh, breaking True. windows at night and provided me with an absolutely owls, airtight alibi that yeah. just really worked. Totally. That was so, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Big ups to the owls. I really never see Fia think so quick on her feet before. Yeah. <laughs> but she, in that moment. She had, she had a rough day. Then she's like, she had a lot going on, man. That's fair. It's owls. <laughs> Hello guys, you can see me on this channel, Joe Fudge. Uh, D&D related content, Tuesdays I review homebrew. Um, I've also got access to the Descent into Avernus uh, supplement now. I'm going to write that as kind of like a story time. Uh, essentially it's a prequel to Baldur's Gate 3 and I wanted to read it and, and see kind of if there's any familiar characters that might be appearing in Baldur's Gate 3. So I'm basically going to be doing the Descent into Avernus with chat making the major decisions and mostly just doing it kind of like a uh, almost like a book read through. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm not too sure what I'm doing this week. So uh, just pop on by whenever and uh, and we'll work it out. But otherwise, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone here. I'm sorry we can go carry on going. I was like, if we start this battle, that's, this is going to be a tough battle. No, it's probably going to go on for a couple yeah. hours. Yeah. With, uh, yeah, we worth probably it have an entire session this yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Um, prepare yourselves next week. Uh, I, I, it's going to be a little bit of a tough battle with everyone together. For sure. Oof. He killed one of them. You know, just about yeah. 20 more to go. And we got people in the front, people in the back. It's yeah. true. We got options. Yep. It's all good. Yep, it's Maybe true. the owls will help us. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That lady was super sus. She might be on our side. We don't yeah. know, guys. We yeah, know. yeah. I got a feeling about her. Okay. <laughs> Did, uh, wait. Oh, I guess I can't really ask on, on Thea's behalf. I was going to say, did her voice sound familiar? To anyone? No. Okay. 
Uh, accent wise, Bahazi. Okay. But her actual voice didn't sound familiar to anybody. Okay. No. No. We'll oh. find out next week, most likely. Uh, <laughs> the next exciting episode of Godforge. In the next exciting oh. <laughs> In episode 15 <laughs> of Godforge, where our Marty <laughs> Party. Uh, but thank you so much, everyone, for playing. Thank you for everyone for watching. Appreciate it big time. Uh, also, next week as well, I'm going to start putting the artwork together. I need the fan art that's come in. We had an amazing one of Basil come in today. That was awesome. That was uh, super cute. I'm going to start putting it all together into so our break screen will have all of that shown um, in a little flick through. So if you do have the fan art that you've done or anything you've done like that, um, do send it in on the Discord and uh, I can piece it together in a little montage. All right. Wait. Well, Sam, if you're going live, I shall send everyone to your, your way. Thank you. Um, all right. So let me just load up my dashboard and we can do that. I will say goodbye and... Uh, God forged a bless to everyone and I'll see. Oh, yep, I'll just try that out, you know, just throw it out there. I see if it sticks. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know. It didn't stick. It didn't. Right, definitely we'll try did a different one next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep I'll go, I'll keep going through. Keep going through. Um, all right. If it, as soon as you're live, Sam will send everyone over to you. But right. uh, other than that. Thanks, man. All right. Are you live now? Is that the. No, no dude, I'm in this call. I'm stressed. Oh, so. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'll put us onto the intermission screen so Sam can go and South play. <laughs> no, man, I'm in this call. All right, thank you guys. Everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. All right, Sam, I heard him say his live as I was winding down, so I'll send you all to, over to him. Thanks so much for coming out. Bye bye.